What's up, Peak Timers? Phil here from Peak Time Racing. Today, we're unboxing the 2023 Hot Wheels A case. I get all of my cases from Granatoys. If you want to get your own Hot Wheels case sent to you each time a new one comes out, check out granatoys.com. Links in the description box below. The regular treasure hunt for this case is Ragin' Express, and the super treasure hunt for this case is the classic TV series Batmobile Tuned. Hopefully, we find one of these in this case. All right, let's go ahead and unbox it. And we'll start it right at the top right here. We'll pull out our first cars for the 2023 case. And the first ones that we have are the HW Rapid Response. We got Bricken Speed and we've got the Nissan Patrol Custom. This looks to be a brand new casting. Very, very cool. That's interesting. We even got like a wide body look on it. The exposed engine on the front as well. That's gonna be an interesting one to open up and looks like we've got a card that's maybe slightly ripped here as well. So that's kind of a mistake, but that's all right, no big deal. All right, we'll open the top right here. We'll go right here. We've got Track Manga. We've got the classic TV series Batmobile and this one looks to be just the regular mainline variation, not the Super Treasure Hunt. Then we also have the Renan Rig. We'll go up right here now. We've got uh, the 69 Copo Camaro in yellow, the Dodge Challenger Drift car, and a Lamborghini Mira SV. I like those three. Great, great three cars right there. We've got the 70s van. <laughs> Check out the writing and stuff on there. Wow. Okay, that's definitely interesting livery for, for that one there. We've got the Ragin' Express, and this one, I believe, is the treasure hunt for the case. I believe it is. I have to find the treasure hunt. Oh, yeah, we have the treasure hunt logo right there. It's right in the middle right there, right where my thumb is. You can see that treasure hunt logo. So there we go. We got the treasure hunt for the case. Very awesome. We've got the McLaren Elva. All right, love the McLaren Elva. Nice new color of that one. And we've got the 65 Mustang 2 plus 2 Fastback. And we have a Lotus Emira in the blue. So a couple of carryover cars from last year's case, the 2022 Q case. Then we have a look at this one, Dragon Wagon. Wow. Okay, that is definitely a unique looking casting from Xperia Motors. All right, that'll be cool to open up and see what that looks like as well. We've got the Ford Escort RS200, and I believe that one is also a new casting as well. Wow, okay, that's kind of interesting. Not really my style of car, I have to say. Not really my thing, but that's okay. We've got the Honda Super Cab, and then we have the 81 Camaro, and this one is the mainline variation. So you guys saw in my 2022 Q case, I got two Super Treasure Hunts of this one. I didn't get the mainline, so now we've got the mainline variation of it, so awesome. So we'll have to pair that with our Supers. We'll put that aside right there, and then we've got Another 69 Copo Camaro, uh, the 72 Ford Gran Torino, and the 1970 Pontiac Firebird. Ooh, that Firebird is looking good. I really like that one, very nice. All right, we'll put those ones aside. We've got uh, Brickin' Trails again. Uh, oh no, maybe not again. Maybe we had a different one and we had a different bricking one before, but these are the ones that have that Mega Blocks uh, slash Lego on there so you can Coordinate those with your Lego stuff. Uh, 40s Ford pickup in red and the Porsche 911 GT3. And I believe we saw both of these ones in the previous game. Uh, maybe not the Ford. Yeah, maybe we did. I can't remember exactly, but we'll put those aside. We've got the 84 Audi Sport Quattro in that new blue color. We've got the Batmobile and the Sweet Driver. Check out the Sweet Driver. Looks like a new color variation of that one. We've got the Honda Civic Custom, the, ooh, check that out, the LB Super Silhouette uh, Nissan Silvia S15 in black with gold trim. That is fresh looking. I like that one. Even look at the Liberty Walk riding on the side, blacked out wheels with the gold chrome. Very nice car. Uh, another one of the 81 Camaros. That is just the standard one, not a Super Treasure Hunt, so very nice. And, oh wow, look at the new color of the Pagani Wyra Roadster. Wow, very nice white color with the gold wheels on there. It's like a pearl white color. 
looking so good. All right, we got the Dodge Challenger Drift car and the 20, uh, 2006 Pontiac GTO, 2006 Pontiac GTO, there we go. All right, and we are down to the bottom of our first half right here. Ford Shelby GT 350R. Uh, I think we saw that one in the previous case as well. We got the Mock It Go in a HW Speed Team kind of like see-through colorway. And we've got the Aston Martin V12 Speedster in that satin matte black. I like that. All right, we'll put these cars aside. We'll go down to the bottom half of our case right here. Take that out and we'll see what we have starting at the top right here. Uh, we've got the Batmobile right there. There's that one with that exposed engine. Uh, Desert Drifter, or Desert Drifter. Yeah, I, I was like, did I? is it Desert Drifter? No, it's Desert Drifter, and it's got like some sort of dessert thing on there. Okay, that's interesting. Another one of the Ford Escort RS 2000s right there. Awesome, awesome. And we'll go up to the top. Again, we've got the 87 Ford Sierra Cosworth. That's a new red color. And we've got the McLaren Elva again in a red sand burner. I'm, like I was saying, we're seeing a lot of red cars recently. I'm not too sure why. I guess red cars just, it's kind of like the new end thing, I guess. I don't know, but I like them. They're good. Uh, Lotus Amira. Uh, we've got the Eruption and the classic TV series Batmobile. Is it the Super? Nope. It is just another mainline variation of it, but still, Pretty cool, pretty cool. Maybe we'll get the Supra. There might still be a chance of getting the Supra of it in here. Uh, we've got the Porsche 911 GT3 in the satin black style finish right there. Uh, 65 Mustang 2 plus 2 Fastback. And we've got the 84 Audi Sport Quattro in that blue color. I love that blue color. We saw them in the previous case, but still happy to have it in this case right here. Uh, we have got the Coupe Clip. Uh, the Ford Shelby GT 350R and Da, da Vinci, da Vinci Veloce. Check out the color of the Da Vinci Veloce right here. Check out that color. Is that like crazy? The graphics and the wheels and all that. That is really neat. I like that. All right, put that aside and we'll grab. We've got the Lamborghini Mira right there. The HW Kit Concept and that one looks to be a new color variation check out the color on that one hw kit concept it's kind of like black with like a silver bottom on there that's interesting uh we've got the 70 ford cosworth rs 1600 as well cool 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 i like those and we'll grab some more up top right here we've got the honda civic custom right there in that red color uh there is the batmobile and we've got a mock it go so three decent cars all right we'll put those ones aside getting down to our bottom here we've got the cruise bruiser in a brand new color we've got the desert drifter again desert drifter and the nissan patrol custom another one of those ones as well I like it, I like it, all right. We've got Roadster Bites, and we've got the 40 Ford pickup truck, and then we've got the Fast Bed Hauler right there. That looks to be a new color variation of the Fast Bed Hauler. All right, and oh, we've got this one. Oh, this is the one you guys were, I was asking you uh, in my previous case, I had found this one. And I was like, tell me some more about this car. And I guess it was like a show winner style car. Um, it's done very well, but I think it looks really, really cool. I'm yet to open one up. We'll have to open one up for our next video. We've got the Grand Sport Roadster Corvette right there. And we've got the Subaru WX STI. It looks like a new color variation of that one. And our last row, our bottom row right here we've got the um, Aston Martin uh, V12 Speedster uh, we've got another one of the Dragon Wagons right there and we've got the Surfing School Bus all right that looks pretty cool Surfing School Bus and our last three cars right here I do see another is it a super is it a super no, it is not. The TV series Batmobile again, looks like it's not the Super. Uh, we've got the head gasket and we've got the 2006 Pontiac GTO. Guys, comment section down below. What's your favorite car from this case? What's up, Peak Timers? Today, we're unboxing the 2023 Hot Wheels B case. The regular treasure hunt for this case is the Surf Crate. And the super treasure hunt for this case is the Mercedes-Benz 300 SL. Although I have heard that people are finding different treasure 
Treasure and Super Treasure Hunts in their 2023 Hot Wheels B case. Let's see what we find. All right, let's go ahead and unbox it. And right off the bat right there, we can see a little bent card right here. So we'll pull that out. Looks like something got squished in shipping. And this is a Nissan Patrol Custom. Completely bashed up. That's definitely interesting. Not good to see. We'll put that aside and we'll start right up again on the top right here. And we'll see what we have. So we've got the uh, Fast Bed Hauler, the Subaru WRX STI, and the Dodge Van. Dodge Van actually looks like a really cool new color. I like the colorway on that one. That looks good. I'll grab up top right here. We've got Desert Drifter. We've got the Cool Combi, and we've got a Coupe Clip. The Cool Combi in the Moon Eyes edition. That looks really good. And next up top right here, we've got another one of the Dodge Vans. We've got the Corvette Grand Sport Roadster, and we've got the Nissan Maxima Drift Car. And check out the wheels on that. That looks really cool. I like that. Good, good add to the lineup here. We've got the Da Vinci Veloc. We've got the Bentley Continental GT3 and check out the colorway on that. That looks really, really good. I like that one. Very nice. And then we've got the classic TV series Batmobile right here as well. All right, we'll put those aside. We've got the 2023 Nissan Z. Looks to be a new colorway on that. We've got the Dragon Wagon. We'll put those ones down and we'll grab these three up top right here. We've got the Roadster Bite. 2023 Nissan Z again, and we've got the Porsche Panamera Turbo SE Hybrid Sport Turismo in red. That looks to be a new recolor of that one. I like that red, that looks really good. And we've got the Tesla Model Y. Check it out, brand new to the Hot Wheels lineup. Very, very cool. And this one even got that little lip on the front. I can't wait to open that one up. We've got the Nissan Maxima Drift Car, and we've got the Baja Hauler right there. Very, very nice. All right, I'm actually gonna throw that up there so it gets out of the way a little bit. We've got the 1970 Pontiac Firebird, the Rally Speciali, or special, I guess you could say. It looks like it's like the Ferrari 458 Speciali, so it kind of pronounced like that is how I like to say it, but that looks to be a new casting. We've got Surfin' School Bust, all right. And then we've got Standard Cart right here. Uh, Volvo P1800 Gasser. Wow, Hot Wheels Legends Tour winning car right there. Check that out, very good detail. Very cool, love the gassers. The gassers are really cool to the Hot Wheels lineup. We've got the Brick and Trails in blue and it's got the green top right there, very nice. And then we've got the Turbine Sublime right there. Uh, LB Chilouette Nissan Silvia S15. Very cool, we've seen that casting before, but it's another one to that. And then we've got the Poison Arrow right there. Poison Arrow looks to be a new color of that one. This case is completely mashed up inside for some reason. Look at even the packaging. We've got more bent cards right here. There's another Volvo P1800 Gasser, another one of the Bentleys, and the Custom Small Block. All right, we'll put those aside. We've got our bottom three cars right here. We've got the Hot Wired right there in blue. Looks to be a new color. Uh, we've got the Da Vinci Veloc and Rally Special again, Speciali again. All right, we'll put that aside. We'll take down that and we'll start it off right up the top right here. We've got the classic TV series Batmobile right there. We've got the uh, 2006 Pontiac GTO and the 2017 Pagani Wyra Roadster. I believe we saw those ones all in the previous case, but nice to have in this one right here. We'll actually throw it on this side. And we have custom 2011 Camaro right there. Crazy art cars variation. The Subaru WRX again. And then we've got the Corvette C7 Z06 convertible. Very cool, nice red color on that. I like that one. Up top right here, we've got the classic TV series Batmobile. And oh my gosh, this is what I was talking about, guys. This is 
a super treasure hunt right here. We can see there's the rubber wheel tire combination on there. And this is actually the A-Case super treasure hunt. I have been hearing that people are finding the A-Case super treasure hunts in their case. And here's the main line Batmobile right here. You can see this one's got just regular plastic tires on there and a little bit different paint. And then that's the super treasure hunt that we have. So very odd. And like I said, I did hear this from other people that were opening up 2023 Hot Wheels B cases that were finding the A case super treasure hunts in their case. Sometimes there are variations that come in case to case, but I've never heard about a super treasure hunt coming in a different case than what it's supposed to. So a little bit late, but hey, I'll take the AK Super Treasure Hunt. Why not? What a great car. All right, we'll put them aside for now and we will go on to the other ones that I pulled out. I got the 84 Mustang SVO right there in silver. And then we've got the Quick Bite Hot Chicken on there. That's very cool, I like that. And we'll go on up right here. We've got the HW Kit Concept. There's another one of the TV series of Batmobiles. That one is not a supercharger run, that would be, uh, I mean, I checked now, even though we found one supercharger run, I'm always curious if we find another supercharger run in the case. Another one, the S15 Nissan Silvias, very nice. I'll put that aside. We've got the Teed Off in green. We've got the Dragon Wagon and the Desert Drifter right there. And what else do we have up top? We've got Track Manga, another one of the kit concepts and another Corvette C7 Z06 convertible. All right. We've got the 87 C Ford Sierra Cosworth right there. I think we saw that one in our previous case. The 80 El Camino looks to be a new color and a new colorway of the Baja bone shaker right there. Very cool wheels on that. I like that. Even the side looks really nice, the paint on that. And what else do we have? We've got the Corvette Grand Sport Roadster again, another 84 Mustang SVO and another Tesla Model Y. I really like that casting. Can't wait to open that. And we'll go right here. We've got Eruption, the custom 2011 Camaro and Skate Grom. Okay. And then we'll go. We've got a new color of Gotta Go, and it looks to be a new color variation of Roger Dodger. And then another one of those Porsche Panamera Turbo SE Sport Turismos. We'll put that aside. We've got the bottom row now. We've got a 70s van. We saw that one in our previous case. We've got the Ford Escort RS2000 right there. And the 1970 Pontiac Firebird. Very cool. And then our bottom three cars of the case. Another one of the Ford Escort RS200s or 2000. We've got another Brick and Trails and another 87 Sierra Cosworth right here. All right, guys, comment down below. Let me know what you think about me finding the 2023 Hot Wheels AK Super Treasure Hunt in the 2023 B case. What's up, big timers? Today, we're unboxing the 2023 Hot Wheels C case. The regular treasure hunt for this case is the BMW R9T Racer. And the super treasure hunt for this case is the 68 Copo Camaro. Hopefully, we find at least one of those in this case. All right, let's go ahead and unbox it. And starting off right at the top right here, we'll pull out our first three cars right here. We've got the Rally Special 2018 Bentley Continental GT3. And check that out. That is crazy. We've got a new Brick and Rides car. It's the Brick and Delivery. That is super interesting and different looking. I did not expect to see one of those, but we've got that now. Let's go ahead up top. Max Steel in a new color, new white color with some red on there. We've got the Volvo P1800 Gasser right there. That's the Hot Wheels Legends Tour winning car. You can see that one just tagged right up top right there. And then we've got Hot Wired and looks to be a new color. And we'll go right up here. We've got Turbine Sublime. That is a new color of that one. Good looking wheels on there. We've got the custom small block, part of the Brick and Rides series. And then we've got the Sky Show. It looks like a, another Hot Wheels Jet recolor right there. All right. We've got the standard cart from Mario, the Mario standard cart right here. We've got Hot Wired again, and then check out the new recolor on the 76 Greenwood Corvette. Wow. 
That is crazy graphics on the side of there. That's a Hot Wheels art car one, so you know it's gonna have some cool paint job on there. So we'll put those ones aside and we'll go up. We've got the Tesla Model Y. We saw that one in the previous case. We got another one of those. We also saw this one in the previous case, the Roger Dodger. And then we've also got the 1980 El Camino. Perfect. And ooh, that's a cool new recolor of the Diora 3. Check that out. That's a nice looking blue. Some interesting wheels on there. We've got the Nissan Maxima Drift car. And we've got the Baja Hauler. Yeah, some good cars so far in this case. What do we have right here? Oh, look at that. The brand new Remac Navera. Brand new casting. That is super cool. I love that wing. Look at the wing, how it's like super just like up there and raised. That is such a neat new casting. I like that. We've got the 2023 Nissan Z and the Porsche Panamera Turbo SE Sport Turismo. And the paint on the side of this one that looks to be some sort of air right there. You can see how it's like almost like they sprayed it and it's kind of unfinished. So that's an interesting air car that we got kind of messed up paint on that Porsche. All right, what do we have up here? Group C Fantasy. Wow, that is like a new fantasy hypercar. That is cool, I like that. Very, very nice. There's another one of the Nissan Z's and another of the Group C Fantasy cars. All right, and the Dodge Van, we saw that one in our previous case. The Baja Bone Shaker and the 2018 Bentley Continental GT3. Another one of those ones. I think we saw, uh, I think we saw all of those ones in the previous case. Oh, wow, look at this. The Pagani Zonda R in white. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. The white recolor with the colored wheels on there. That is amazing. I love this one. Cannot wait to open that one up. We'll have that one up in a soon video where we open that one up. We got another one of the Nissan Drift cars and then we've got already a recolor of the Matt and Debbie Hayes 1988 Pro Street Thunderbird. We saw that one in like a pink color before and now we've got it in the white. That's a quick recolor they've done on that one. Interesting, all right. We've got the 89 Mazda RX-7, the Savannah version. That is a crazy metallic green color. We've got the Dodge van and we've got the Mercedes-Benz 300 SL. This is the main line and we, there is a Super Treasure Hunt edition of this one, which I actually do own. So we're gonna pair that together. And what else do we have down here? We've got the uh, cool combi Moon Eyes Edition, Mercedes-Benz Unimog Heavy Rescue Service. There we go, nice one. And this is, I think, the treasure hunt of the case. It is, we can see the little treasure hunt logo right behind there. The BMW R9 T Racer. And let's see, where's our treasure hunt logo on here? Sometimes it's hard to see. I don't really see it on there right now, but once we open it up, we'll be able to see it. Actually, if we look, right on the actual thing right here. You can see, oh, there it is, there it is. So if we match it right there, there's our treasure hunt logo and we can see it just right at the front right there. So we found it, we got it. So we got the treasure hunt for the case. Let's go to the bottom now of this case and see what we have right up top right here. Pull some down. We've got the Dodge Charger Drift car. That's a nice new color of that one. Roller toaster with peanut butter and jelly written on the side of it. That is funny. And then we've got the custom Ford Maverick. Check that out. That's a cool new recolor of that one as well. And we'll go up top right here. We've got the Hot Wheels Ford Transit Connect. That is a new one. And that's the Hot Wheels art car. Well, new, uh, we've got the new recolor of it. Look at the tiger on the side of it. Oh, wow, I just noticed that. That is really neat. Check that out. We got another one of the Remac Neveras. Happy to have another one of those. And we've got the Hot Wheels High with the Hot Wheels track written on the side of it. That's an interesting color variation of that one. We'll go up top right here. There's another one of the Brickin deliveries. We've got another one of those Porsche Panameras. And this one you can see, see how the paint is proper on this one. It's not like a mist spray. A Dodge Charger Drift in that nice green. We've got another one of those. That's really neat. What else do we have? Uh, we've got the Gotta Go 
in the yellow. Looks like a Moon Eyes car, but I don't think it is an official Moon Eyes car. Looks like the same color though. We've got the uh, custom 2011 Camaro and we've got Skate Grom, the Tony Hawk edition. We saw those ones in our previous case. We got up top right here. Another one of the gotta goes, looks like a new Bone Shaker color. I mean, we get a ton of Bone Shaker recolors every year, but you know what? I'm not disappointed because they always look cool. I like this one. I like the white walled, like the, the double white walled wheels on there and then the uh, Team Hot Wheels edition. Uh, we got another Moon Eyes cool combi right there. And up top we've got Teed off two, I think we saw that one in our previous case. The Batman Forever Batmobile and the Corvette C7 Z06 Convertible. We saw this one in our previous case. This is a, I don't think it's a new casting. Correct me if I'm wrong, it might be. But uh, we've got that new Batmobile that looks pretty neat. And we'll go right here. There's another one of those Batmobiles, the El Camino again, and the Corvette Grand Sport Roadster. Those are both from the previous case. We've got the Twin Duction in a brand new color. That is neat. I do like that color. We're seeing a lot of this, like that lighter blue kind of color recently. Uh, we've got the 84 Mustang SVO and another Tesla Model Y, both from the previous case, but excellent, excellent castings. Absolutely love those ones. So happy to get some more of those ones. We've got the custom 2011 Camaro. Barbie Extra recolor in white with the star right there. My daughters are going to love that one. We're giving that one to them for sure. And we've got the 1988 Jeep Wagoneer. Wow. I think that's a new casting as well. That is very neat. And that one's from the 80s. This might be just a recolor. It might've been a premium before. I'm not 100% sure, but that looks cool. I can't wait to open that one up put that aside. What else do we have? We've got the uh, Mazda Savannah RX-7 again, another C7 Z06 convertible, and another Batman Forever Batmobile. We're getting to the bottom right here. We've got the uh, Mazda 787B. That is so cool, I like that. There's the 68 Copo Camaro. This, I believe, is just the standard variation, not the Super Treasure Hunt edition. So there would be a Super Treasure Hunt edition of that one if we had it in the case. Uh, another one of the Bone Shakers, which we saw already. And our last three cars of the case, what are they? We've got the Mercedes-Benz 300 SL again, just the mainline variation, the 84 Mustang SVO, and the Quick Bite. Comment down below your favorite car from this case. What's up, P-Timers? Today, we're unboxing the 2023 Hot Wheels D case. The regular treasure hunt for this case is Mad Props, and the super treasure hunt for this case is the Lotus Avaya. Hopefully, we find one of those in this case. All right, let's go ahead and unbox it. And we'll start right off the top right here. We'll pull out our first three cars. And first up, we have the Mercedes-Benz Unimog 1300, Chrysler Pacifica, and a brand new casting. It's the BMW 507. I've been looking forward to getting this casting. I cannot wait to open this one up. It's a nice classic looking BMW. We'll put those aside and we'll go up right here. We've got the Mazda Savannah RX-7 FC uh, 3S, I believe it is. There we go, nice. That's a cool color, I really like that. We've got head gasket and the Honda Super Cab, and I think that's a new color of the Honda Super Cab as well. So we'll put those aside. We've got clip rod. We've got another BMW 507, that's very cool. We got two of them in the case. And the, the Matt and Debbie Hayes 1988 Pro Street Thunderbird. And that is, I think that's the second color of this one. We had the pink one as the first one. We did get the one in the last case though. All right, we'll put those down. We'll see what we have up here. The Hot Wheels Ford Transit Connect. Pretty neat art cars. Uh, Nissan Leaf Nismo RCO2. And we've got that Pagani Zonda R. We did see this one in the last case, but I absolutely love that Zonda R. It looks so good. And that Nissan actually looks pretty cool. I like that Nissan riding on the side of it as well. So pretty neat cars right there. We've got uh, two of the Group C Fantasy cars. That's like a, the hot, new Hot Wheels Fantasy supercar. I actually really like it. I think it looks good. And there's that Remac Nevera. Both of these ones we did see in the previous case as well, but still excellent to get extras of those. 
What do we have right here? We've got the Erkenstein rod and that's a new nice matte finish color on that. Check that one out. We've got the Hot Wheels 55th anniversary logoing on the side of that one too. We've got the 09 Ford Focus. That one, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm not a big fan of that. That's kind of ugly. That is kind of ugly. It's an art cars formation, not my thing. Uh, Dior 3 right there as well. That's a cool color on that one, I like that. And what do we have right here? We've got the Lolux, Lolux, uh, 84 Corvette. It's been a while since we've seen the C4 Corvette come to the Hot Wheels lineup. Even in one of the newer Corvette sets, they skipped the C4 for some reason, but it's neat that we see that one in a nice gold trim right there. We've got the 1990 Honda Civic EF, and that's a new red recolor of that one with Civic written on the side of it. So there we go. I'm not a big Honda Civic fan, but that's a new color if you like that one. We've got the Dior 3 again. It looks like a new color of the McLaren Elva. Wow, that is a crazy burnt orange color. Check that out, that is very interesting. I kinda like that, I do kinda like that. Ford Mustang Mach-E also in a new color as well. So there we go, lots of blue, a little bit of purplish in there, a little bit of silver, lots of colors mixed in, but that looks pretty cool. And this is the RTR variation. You can see the RTR written on the side of it. So that's pretty neat. We've got another one of the Civics right there. We've got the 76 Corvette Greenwood right there, and that's the nice uh, Art Cars logoing. Max Steel right here as well in that white color from the HW Roadsters. And what do we have? We've got another head gasket, another one of the Matt and Debbie Hayes 88 Pro Street Thunderbird, and we've got Snoopy. Look at that, there is Snoopy right there. Snoopy sitting on the top of that. We've got, look at the little peanuts right there. That's pretty neat. That's kind of a fun casting to have. And what do we have? Oh, this is that Hot Wheels Braille Twin Mill. This is really, really cool. So this is in collaboration with the National Federation of the Blind. So you can see that there is Braille written on the outside of the packaging as well as on the car itself. So we'll talk more about this once we open it up, but very, very interesting casting. I really like how they partnered with the Blind Association and come up with some Hot Wheels uh, for the blind and they can feel it. So that's a really cool collaboration to have. So very nice, we'll put that aside for now. We've got the Count Muscula and the Armadillo right there. I don't really like the Armadillo. I know it's from Buzz Lightyear, but it's kind of ugly, kind of a not my thing type of casting. Uh, we got another one of the uh, HW Braille Twin Mills right there. So we've got two of those ones. That's neat. And we've got the Time A Taxi and another one of the Max Steels. All right, we're going down to the second half of the case right here. We'll take that middle cardboard out. And we'll go right to the top right here. Pull out these cars. We've got the Hot Wheels Barbie Extra right there. And you can see all the the Barbie writing and logoing and stuff. And this one, I think I'm giving to one of my daughters. They love the Barbie Hot Wheels cars. Batman Forever, that's a new casting for 2023, the Batmobile. And then also we've got the 88 Jeep Wagoneer. Check that one out. Nice new color variation of that one. I believe that's a new color variation. I don't think that's a new casting. We've seen that one before. Put those aside. And what do we have up here? Oh, wow, check out this. Nissan Skyline GTR R32 from the HWJ Imports. I love I love all the Skylines, the Nissan GTRs. They're very, very neat. So that's a nice new color variation of that. Uh, another one of the Mazda Savannas, and we've got the custom Ford Maverick as well. And I think we saw this one in the last case, if I'm not mistaken as well. So we'll put that one aside. We'll go right up here. We've got the Bone Shaker. I love this color variation, the Bone Shaker. Very, very cool looking. We've got the Jeepster Commando in a new color variation. And we've got the Lucid Air in a new color variation as well. Cool casting. Uh, don't like that color though. No, it's kind of like a like a sand color, metallic sand color. Not really my thing. You might like it, but not my style. I'll put that up there. Uh, we've got the 68 Copo Camaro right there. Uh, this is the main line. It would be a super treasure hunt if it was from the previous case, but that is just the, the mainline variation of it. And speaking of mainline variations, we've got the mainline variation of the Lotus Avaya. So they do have a super treasure hunt variation of this. We might still get it in this case. So stay tuned and uh, you're gonna see one, trust me. Uh, Mazda 787B right here. There we go, that's a nice one. 
And what else do we have up here? We've got another one of the bone shakers. We've got the tuned 83 Chevy Silverado. Looks like a new color variation of that. And the Hot Wheels High. We've seen that one recently in quite a few different colors as well. What else do we have? We've got the Dodge Charger Drift car. I like this green. It's a very, very cool looking green color. Uh, another one of the uh, 68 Copa Camaros and another one of the Batman Forever Batmobiles. Very nice. Some good cars in this case. Uh, 82 Cadillac Seville. Check that out. Now, I'm not 100% sure if it's a new casting or not, but it's one that we haven't seen for a long time. If it hasn't, I believe it is a new casting, though. I think that's one of the new ones for 2023. Uh, pretty cool. Like, look at that back right there. Just a very interesting design. It's these 80s Cadillacs, which had a lot of weird shapes to them and stuff, but pretty neat. I like that. That's a cool casting. Can't wait to open that one up. We've got the Twin Duction. Looks to be a new color of that one and another one of the 1988 Jeep Wagoneers. What else do we have? Another Batman Forever, uh, another Erkenstein Rod, and another Barbie Extra. There we go. I'm okay with doubles. There's some good cars in this case, so having some doubles is fine. Uh, we've got the 76 Greenwood Corvettes, and there we've got the 1986 Toyota Van. Look at that. That looks to be a new color one as well. And we've got the treasure hunt for the case. Here we go. Yes, we've got the Mad Props treasure hunt. Very clearly a treasure hunt. You can see on the wings, the, the two logos right there. And if we look underneath the card, you can also see the treasure hunt logo just within the card right there. So nice that we got that one. That's the first time we've seen, uh, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong. Have we seen an airplane as a treasure hunt before? Possibly we have, but uh, I don't think we've seen mad props as a treasure hunt or a super treasure hunt before. So nice that we got that one. What do we have down here? We've got another one of the Mazda 787Bs, uh, the Pagani Zonda R again, and the Twin Duction again. I mean, again, some good doubles to have. Just check those two out. Very, very cool looking castings. Really like them. And down below, we've got the Dodge Charger Drift car again, another Remac Nevera, and we've got the Bricken Delivery. We did see this one in the previous case, but I think it's a super, super cool casting for 2023. It's a brand new casting for the model year. And our last three cars in the case, and then I'll show you something special here in a second. We've got the Roller Toaster with the Peanut Butter Edition. We've got the Custom Ford Maverick again, and the Hot Wheels Ford Transit Connect. Now we did not get the super treasure hunt for the case this would be it but do have a special thing to show you we do have one right here i actually did purchase one separately uh just because i really really liked it and so i did pick it up unfortunately i did pay quite a bit more than i should have for it but it's one that i wanted to add to my collection so if we get a closer look you can see the the paint it's a little bit different so that's a little bit darker this is maybe slightly lighter and then it's got that more premium paint on there and then the wheels you can see are different on them as well and then we've got the real rider wheel and tires on the super treasure hunt so uh this is a us carded super treasure hunt you can see we can see the guaranteed for life symbol right there um, and then we've got my international card of the lotus avaya the regular mainland so very cool that i do have it unfortunately i didn't get one in the case but we did get a treasure hunt for the case so very good case so far what's up peak timers today we're unboxing the 2023 hot wheels e-case the treasure hunt for this case is the mod rod and the super treasure hunt for this case is the 1968 mazda cosmo sport hopefully we find one of those in this case all right let's go ahead and unbox it let's start it off right at the top right here we've got first the hw braille racer twin mill and this is the one where it's got the actual braille writing on here very very cool we saw this one in our previous case we got another one of those now 2018 Camaro SS right there in that nice white color and Time a Taxi right here. And this looks to be a new color variation of Time a Taxi. And we'll go right up top right here again. We've got another one of the HW Braille Twin Mills. Very cool. And it looks like we've got a new recolor of Count Muscula right here. It's a matte black, kind of a satin matte black finish with red on the bottom. We've got the Armadillo right here, and that is from the Disney Pixar uh, Light, uh, Lightyear movie. I'm not a huge fan of these style of cars. I mean, I like to see normal license castings and fantasy castings rather than something like that. Kind of weird, but that's all right. We'll go right up top. We've got the 
BMW 507, another one of those. We saw that one in our previous case. We've got Snoopy right here. Very, very cool. We got the Snoopy right there riding on the top with his ears flying away. Very nice. We've got the 2015 Mazda MX-5 Miata. That looks to be a nice new recolor of the Miata right there. Check that one out. Nice matte black finish with the red on the bottom and the chrome red wheels. I like that. That's a really cool new color for that. Up top right here, we've got head gasket. Looks like a new color of that one. Brick and speed, very, very cool. Nice new color of that. And wow, check this out. A golf livery right here. You can see the golf on here for the Aston Martin Vantage GTE. Wow, what a cool new color. And just check out the artwork on the card right there. Very, very cool. I can't wait to open that one up. I love all the golf livery cars. And we'll put that aside. We grab the McLaren Elva right there. Look at that, the new color of the McLaren Elva. Audi RS e-tron GT, look at this new recolor. This is that really cool kind of like chalk gray, but very, very like, like a glossy finish to it. Wow, that looks so good. We've got Lolux in a new color right there as well put those aside and then we've got the Ford Mustang Mach-E 1400 nice new recolor of that the Honda Civic EF in glossy red and the 84 Corvette in gold Ooh, some good cars there we've got the 70 Hemi Challenger look at the color of that a very very cool looking green color for that one the 2008 Ford Focus and the Lotus Amira in a new recolor as well. Check that one out. It's a nice kind of like a, almost like a very dark orange, but it's more of a reddish color. It's an interesting color. I do like that. I haven't seen that exact color before. We'll put that aside. We've got the brick and motor right here. Check that one out. This is the brick and motor with the Mega Blocks or Lego style on there from Brick Rides. That is very cool. I think that's a new casting as well. Wow. Check that out. That's really cool. We got two of them there. We got uh, Erkenstein Rod as well to follow that one up. Put that aside. We've got the Nissan Nismo RCO2 and Batmobile and Clip Rod right there. All right. And then we have the Roland Solo. Roland Solo. I don't know if that's a new car, a new casting or not, but you can check it out on the top right there. It doesn't look like it's, it's, it's like an autonomous vehicle, I believe. You can see in the artwork, it shows a little bit better, but I think that's a new one. BMW 507 again, and we've got a new recolor of the Surf and Turf with a Malibu written on the side of that one. Next up, we do have Drone Duty right there. Drone Duty in a new color. Head gasket again, and the Honda Super Cub which we did see in our previous case as well. And then our last three cars, the first half of our case, we've got the Lucid Air. That's the new recolor. We saw that one in our previous case. We got the Chrysler Pacifica and another one of the BMW 507s. I think that's three 507s. Interesting, because that was in our previous case, but we're getting lots of them carried over into this case. We'll go on to our second half of the case start right now, though. Pull that out and we'll see what we have up top right here. We've got the Batmobile, very nice. We've got Mock It Go in a new color. And there's another one of the Golf Livery Aston Martin GTEs. Wow, I just love this car just so much. I know I've said it before, but it's amazing. It looks really, really cool in the mock, in the nice Golf Livery there. We've got El Segundo Coupe, and this is a brand new casting as well. That looks really good. This is a fantasy casting, but wow, this has got to be one of my favorite new fantasy castings. A very, very cool looking new car. Another Batmobile. We've got the 67 Jeepster Commando in a new color as well. I'll go up top right here. We've got the Ice Shredder in a new recolor. Uh, 2008 Ford Focus and 32 Ford right there. Look at that nice color of that 32 Ford. And up top, we've got the 82 Cadillac Seville, uh, another one of the 84 Corvettes, and the 86 Toyota Van. Look at those 80s vehicles right there. The Lots of 80s vehicles we're getting now as well. That's interesting. Uh, Toyota Van again. Ooh, that's a nice new recolor of the 55 Chevy Bel Air Gasser right there. Let's see that artwork on there. Looking good. Love the yellow. It looks kind of like a taxi. 
that's interesting. Interesting color right there. Another Nissan Leaf Nismo RCO2 in that red. We'll put those up top. Uh, we've got the 86 Mazda Cosmo Sport or Mazda if you're from the USA. This uh, looks to be just the mainline and not the Super Treasure Hunt variation of it. If I'm not mistaken, I believe it is just the mainline variation right there. So there we go. We've got the mainline of that one. We've got the Nissan Skyline GTR R32. We saw this one in our previous case. Absolutely love that car. What a crazy looking casting. Love the new recolor of that. And we got the tuned out 83 Chevy Silverado right there. I've been a big fan of that tuned out casting. Nice to see some new recolors of it. Another one of the 82 Cadillac Seville's. We got the McLaren Elva and the Erkenstein Rod. So ones we've seen in the case already. We do have the Automobilia Pinfrina Batista in a brand new recolor. This looks to be, uh, I believe it's a black color and it's got some weird graphics on the back. I'm not a huge fan of the graphics on there. I like more the cleaner look for a hypercar, but nonetheless, we got that. We got the Lotus Avaya in the new color and we got the EV Hummer, the GMC Hummer EV now in white. We originally saw that one in yellow. Nice that we've got a recolor in white. White's the launch color for this car in real life. So it's nice that they released that one. Then we've got the Honda Civic again, the F Civic. We've got the Roland Solo again, and we've got another one of the El Segundo Coupes as well. We'll put those aside. We have the Lotus Avaya again right there in that new recolor, the Lucid Air and the Jeepster Commando as well. We've seen those ones all. Uh, tuned out 83 Chevy Silverado again, the Time a Taxi, and we've got the looks to be, I think this is just another main line as well of the 68 Mazda Cosmo Sport. I'm always confused because this one is very similar looking to the uh, Super Treasure Hunt, but this looks to be just the mainline variation of that one. So we'll, we'll put that one, actually we'll grab it just to compare. Yeah, these are both, both the main lines right there. There we go. So main lines of that, no supers. Unfortunately, doesn't look like any supers. Ooh, we got a recolor of the uh, DMC DeLorean right there. That is very, very cool. I love the DeLoreans. Uh, we got the A6 Ford Thunderbird Pro Stock as well. That's a very cool casting. Look at that. The nice American flag stars on the back of it. Hot wheels down there. And then we have another one of the Nissan Skyline GTRs. Comment down below your favorite car from this case. What's up, Peak Timers? Phil here from Peak Time Racing. Today, we're unboxing the 2023 Hot Wheels F case. The treasure hunt for this case is Donut Drifter. And the super treasure hunt for this case is the Renault Sport RS01. Hopefully, we find one of these in this case. All right, let's go ahead and unbox it. And we'll start right at the top right here. We'll grab our first three cars out. And first up, we have the new recolor of the Nissan Patrol custom car. Check out that nice new recolor of it. Then we've got the Subaru WRX STI in white. And we've got the Beatles Yellow Submarine. This one is back. We've seen this one several times previously and now we've got it back. I'm not a huge fan of it. I think it's not the greatest of Hot Wheels cars, but hey, if you like the Beatles Submarine, there you go. All right, we'll go right up to the top. Oh, check this out. We've got the new recolor of the LB Super Silhouette Nissan Silvia S15. This one in gold with the black trim. We saw the black with the gold trim before. Now we've got kind of the opposite of it, but I like it. I like it a lot. We've got the 2018 Copo Camaro SS, two of them back to back right there. Awesome, awesome. And we'll go right up here. We've got the 72 Corvette Stingray Convertible. This is a brand new casting. You can see the pop-up headlights right there. Wow, that's a great, great new casting. Liking seeing some Corvettes come back into the Hot Wheels lineup, some older ones. That's really, really neat. We've got the 2015 Mazda Miata MX-5 right there. Mazda or Mazda, depending where you live, but there we go. We've got the Highway uh, Hauler 2 right there. So Highway Hauler 2. Another new color variation of that one. And put those aside. Then we've got the Porsche 911 Carrera RS 2.7. Check that out. That is super, super nice. 
Really like the look of that one. I love the Carrera with the blue trim right down there. That looks really good. We've got Brick and Speed and Track Manga. Looks like to be new color variations. Uh, I, I can't remember if we saw this one in the last kiss or not, or maybe it's a recolor, but there we go. We've got those ones right there. We've got the Water Bomber. We saw one of these as a treasure hunt before. Now we've got, uh, looks to be another color of that one. So that's kind of interesting to see that one. Uh, we've got the 71 Porsche 911 and we've got the 2017 Camaro ZL1. Looks to be a new recolor of that one. And this 71 Porsche, the outlaw variation, I feel like we've seen one like this before. So maybe this is just a, a wheel variation, but the color looks very much the same. What else do we have up here? We've got the Roadster Bite right there. Another new color of that one, the Audi RS e-tron GT. I believe we saw this one in the previous case. And we've got the 2018 Bentley Continental GT3. That looks to be a nice silver recolor of that one. Kind of light gray or silverish, whatever you want to call it. But there we go. We've got that. And we'll go right up top right here. We've got the 70 Dodge Challenger right there, the Hemi Challenger. We saw that one in our previous case. Classic TV series Batmobile and the Lotus Amira. Uh, very, very nice castings. And what else do we have? We've got the Donut Drifter, and this one I think would be the treasure hunt of the case, if I'm not mistaken. You can see right back here. Yeah, we do see the treasure hunt logo back there. Uh, I don't know where it is exactly on the car itself, but it should be somewhere on the car. We'll have to open it up and we'll see, but that is definitely the treasure hunt. So super cool that we got the treasure hunt for the case. We've got the brick and motor as well as we've got the dragon wagon in a nice blue color. I like that blue. It's a really cool blue color. We're seeing that on several different new Hot Wheels, but good to see another one of those. Classic TV series Batmobile followed by the big Batmobile right there. Kind of the newer one as well as another brick and motor. Throw those aside. Then we've got the Automobili Pininfarina Batista. It's a handful to say, but it is a nice car. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the recolor of this one. I don't really like these graphics. They kind of look like two 80s of a graphic and nothing wrong with having 80s graphics, but not on a modern car. That's a modern hypercar. We'd like to see something a little bit more modern looking. Surf and Turf right there with the Malibu on the side, as well as we've got the 55 Chevy Bel Air Gasser with the yellow. That looks really good. I'm liking that one. I am liking that one. What else do we have up here? Mock It Go, looks to be a new color. We've got the Drone Duty and the 86 Ford Thunderbird Pro Stock, which is kind of sitting up high. Come on, come on, there we go. Now we've got it down in there. That's a nice casting. I like that one. I like the, the detail on there. Very Americanized car for the American Thunderbird. I'll put that aside. I'll grab our last three of the first half. We've got the 1968 Mazda Cosmo Sport. This is the main line. There is a super treasure hunt for it, which would have been in the previous case. I'm just double checking because it's a very similar, the, the super treasure hunt and the main line, but that is not it. Uh, Dessert Drifter and the Ducati Desert X. Is this a new casting? I believe, no, I can't remember exactly, but that is cool. That is really, really cool. I like that. I like the lights on the front too. Looks really neat, so super nice to have that one. Let's go to the second half of our case right here. We'll go right up top. We've got Corvette Grand Sport Roadster right there. So another classic Corvette, Mock It Go, and the Batmobile again. So throw those ones aside. And I'm reaching for these cars now. Get out, there we go. Oh, wow, look at that, 73 Honda Civic Custom. That is neat looking. Very, very cool looking. I'm not a big Honda Civic fan, but I do appreciate these custom ones that they're coming out with to the Hot Wheels line. I think it's done very well. I like that little lip spoiler on the back. Can't wait to open that one up. Surf and Turf and Batmobile, more of those ones. We've seen those ones. Uh, we've got the Ice Shredder right there. That's an interesting casting. 32 Ford, as well as the Audi RS e-tron GT again. I really like this color of it. That Audi RS e-tron GT looks good in that color. We'll throw those aside. What else do we have? We've got Eruption. We've got the Da Vinci Velas. 
Dimachini Veloce. I always say it wrong. That's a cool color of it though. The color suits it pretty well. Uh, we've got the Ducati Desert X as well. There we go, another one of those ones. Cars coming out here. Uh, there's that 72 Corvette Stingray convertible. It doesn't specify Corvette on there, which is kind of interesting. It just says 72 Stingray convertible. I guess they didn't have room for the Corvette, but that's definitely a Corvette. We've got the GMC Hummer EV in white, and we've got another one of the Automobili Pininfarina Batistas in the 80s livery, which I already said I don't like. All right, we've got Surf and School Bus. Uh, another classic TV series Batmobile and the Dodge Hemi Challenger. I feel like every case this year has had multiples of the classic TV series Batmobile, the tuned out variation. It is a supercharger on it as well. We're just getting so many different versions of it. I don't know, is it just me or are we getting a lot of them? All right, uh, Lotus Amira, the 55 Chevy Bel Air Gasser, and we've got the DMC DeLorean, new color variation. I think we saw that one in our previous case. I think all of these we saw in our previous case as well. So we got several carryovers, but still some new cars. Uh, that looks to be a new color of the Ford es Escort RS200. Looks to be a reddish color, almost, almost orange, but no, it's red. Uh, there's that 73 Honda Civic Custom again, and another one of the Porsche 911 Carrera RS 2.7s. Liking that. What else do we have? Oh, there's the El Segundo Coupe, which is the uh, the wheeled version of the Coupe Clip. So if you have the Coupe Clip, that's a wheeled version. And check this out, the Audi 90 Quattro. I love all these race car Audis they're coming out with. That looks so good. The livery on that, even like look at the artwork on the card right there. So, so nice. So super happy we got that one. Another one of the GMC Hummer EVs down below to follow that one up. And then, we do have Roland Solo right there, Roland Solo. And there's the Renault RS Sport uh, RS01. And this one, it looks to be just the mainline variation. It is just the mainline, but still happy to have it. I like it, I really do like it. Uh, Dodge Viper RT10. And this is the original casting. I believe we're getting a retooled casting of this one this year. So stay tuned for that. Uh, I like these wheels. I think they suit the Viper very, very well. So we'll see. We'll see what happens in the future if we get the, the nice retooled new one. We've got the DMC DeLorean and wow. Just check out these two. I mean, yeah, the, the, the 70s art cars this is just a recolor of it. Uh, kind of the opposite of the white one, but the blue with gold wheels on this Pagani Waira Roadster. Wow. Wow, I really, this has got to be my favorite color of release of this car so far. That color with the gold wheels and even that like kind of goldish tan interior, that looks so good. I can't wait to open this one up. That's super, super awesome. We've got three cars left on the bottom right here. Is this the super? No, this looks to be the mainline variation again. I was hoping that was the super, but unfortunately it's the 68 Cosmo Sport non-super. But I mean, this would be the super from the previous case, but still kind of looks like the super. It's so similar. Uh, 86 Thunderbird and another one of the Audi 90 Quattros. Guys, let me know in the comment section down below your favorite car from this case. What's up, Peak Timers? Phil here from Peak Time Racing. Today, we're unboxing the 2023 Hot Wheels G case. The treasure hunt for this case is Rise and Climb and the super treasure hunt for this case is the 68 Corvette Gas Monkey Garage. Hopefully we find one of those in this case. All right, let's go ahead and unbox it. And we'll start right at the top right here. We'll pull out our first three cars. And our first one we've got is the Batmobile. And I'm not sure if this is a new variation of a Batmobile or an existing one, but pretty neat looking. I think it is just a recolor. We've got the Mustang NHRA Funny Car with the actual NHRA logo just written right on the back right there. So that's pretty neat. Honda CB750 Cafe, nice motorbike from Honda and Hot Wheels collaboration. Let's see what else we have up here. We've got the 55 Chevy Bel Air Gasser. We've seen this one in our previous case. Same with our 71 Porsche 911 we've seen in the previous case. We do have a new recolor of the 2023 Nissan Z. That is a nice looking clean glossy red color with the gray wheels. 
Very, very good. I like that. That's a great new recolor. It's not a Target Red edition either. It's just a regular standard red recolor. 72 Stingray Convertible. That's a Corvette, of course. That's a new casting. We did see the, uh, we have a Porsche Taycan Turbo S in a new green. Wow, that is really nice. That's a great looking color. Fits the car perfectly well. Track Manga, our HW Art Cars. We've seen this one before. Put those aside. Pulling out right here, we've got the uh, 88 Honda CRX. That looks to be a new recolor, and this one in a nice matte gray or matte silver finish with the gold wheels. That looks really good. I like that. That's really, really nice. Classic TV series, Batmobile, of course. We get one of these in every single one of the cases that we ever open for 2023. We've gotten so many of them. We got the Brick and Trails. Looks to be a new recolor of the Brick and Trails, so that's pretty neat. Pulling out uh, three more. Oh, wow, look at this. This is one that I have been waiting for. The 89 Mercedes-Benz 560 SEC AMG. That is a gorgeous looking mainline casting. Just look at that. We're gonna be opening this one up in our next video. Looks like this packaging does have a little bit of a crack in there, but doesn't matter. We're opening it up anyways. But look at the detail on the back end. This is definitely one of the best new castings for 2023 so far. It's, wow, that's just gorgeous. Love that one. Uh, we do have a couple of Dragon Wagons that were just right after that Mercedes-Benz. So put those aside. Grab those next three. We've got the uh, Nissan Silvia S15 in that gold color. We have the Subaru WX STI in white. And we've got another classic TV series Batmobile, of course. Gotta have lots of those. And next up, we've got the 71 Porsche 911. Another one of those ones right there. We've got the 2017 Camaro ZL1. And we've got the Nissan Patrol Custom. That is the new recolor we saw in our previous case, but that's a great new recolor. Really, really liking that one. And what else do we have? We've got Roadster Bike. Looks to be in the, the new blue color. Another one of the Honda CB750 Cafe motorbikes. And we've got the Bentley Continental GT3 in the new recolor of that one. I put those aside. Uh, we've got the Mazda REPU, or uh, the pickup truck, or Mazda, depending where you live. But uh, nice new recolor of that one. Porsche 911 Carrera RS 2.7 in white, and another Trek Manga. So three good ones right there. I'll put those aside. We've got the 2018 Dodge Challenger SRT Demon. Check that one out. That's a nice new recolor of that one. I like that metallic color on there. SRT written on the side of it. We've got Mock It Go. And then we've got the uh, Tony Hawk's Skate Grom right there. That looks to be a new color of the Skate Grom. So perfect, we'll put those aside. Uh, another one of the Sylvia S15s. Another one of the WRX in white with the gold wheels. And we've got the Beatles Yellow Submarine. Uh, so I said this in the last case that we got this one. I'm not a big fan of these airplanes and submarines and boats and stuff like that and the Hot Wheels on it. But hey, some people like them, so good. I'm glad they do put them in for those people. Uh, we've got Rise and Climb. Looks to be a new color of Rise and Climb. Uh, 64 Nova Wagon Gasser. Wow, that is a nice color. That's like a purplish color. That is so good looking. I like that. I like these gassers. Another Nissan Patrol Custom as well. Add that to the mix. We're going on to the second half of our case right here. And we'll go right up top. We've got the Dodge Viper RT10 right there in yellow. Solar Reflex. That is interesting. Look at that. Look at Just look at the card on that. Doesn't that look cool? It looks like a, the scales of a snake of some sort. And that's obviously like solar panels that they've got in there. Uh, 1988 Jeep Wagoneer looks to be a recolor of that one. That's in a nice matte black finish. That looks good, I like that. Looks really good in that new recolor. We we'll go up to our top again, pull down our next three cars. We've got the Reynolds Sport RS01. This is the mainline variation of what would be a super treasure hunt from the previous case. So that's just our mainline. Speaking of our main lines, that's a super treasure hunt. We've got the 68 Corvette Gas Monkey Garage. That looks to be the mainline variation of it. 
not the super trash hunt. It's nice. It's like a matte gold finish. That's really cool. Uh, I've been looking forward to this one. Uh, you guys know I like Teslas. I have a Tesla in real life. Uh, this is our Tesla Model Y recolor in gray. And I hope that they're going to do what they've done with the Tesla Model 3s. The Tesla Model 3s, they release all the standard colors. So we've got black, red, blue, gray, and white. So we've got now white, we've got red, and we've got now gray of the Tesla Model Y. So hopefully we'll get a blue and a black one coming out sometime in the near future. So watch out for that. We'll see if we do get them, if they stick with the trend. Going up top. We've got uh, three great cars we didn't see in our previous case, but still love to have them. The Audi 90 Quattro right there, such a cool new casting. We've got the 86 Ford Thunderbird Pro Stock and that 2017 Pagani Wyro Roadster. I love this color. I said it before, I'll say it again, but that color looks so, so good. So super, super happy to get another one of those ones. So we'll put those aside and hopefully there's more in this case too, because you know, gotta have doubles of them. There it is, there it is, I speak and it happens. So we've got the double of it. Uh, Mustang NHRA funny car, we've seen that one before. Uh, there is our 2017 Pagani Wyra Roadster and then we've got the 70s van and that's a recolor of it as well. And it, I actually said before that this is black, but if you look on the, the picture, doesn't that look more like purplish? And then like, it's like a purplish dark blue. I think it's more purple of a color. It's not black, so. Eh, you guys let me know. What do you think the color is on that one? Might be hard to tell with the, the lighting and, the, and everything, but hey, it's not black. I'm gonna not call it the black one of that one. Uh, we got the Ford Escort RS2000. That's a new recolor. We got the uh, Desert Drifter, also in our new recolor, and our Highway Hauler with the big Hot Wheels logo on the side. Rapid Race Parts. It's our delivery race parts. Rapid Hauler. Perfect. All right, we'll go right up top. We're kind of in our middle now. We've got the 73 Honda Custom as well in that new, that's a new casting. Really, really like that one. 72 Ford Ranchero Art Cars, and we got the Corvette Grand Sport Roadster. Some great cars in this case so far. We've got the 72 Stingray Convertible. It's our new casting we saw in our previous case. Classic TV series Batmobile. You just can never have enough of those. Gotta have more of those, of course. Uh, Ford Escort RS2000 right there as well. Another one of those ones. And then what else do we have? Getting down to the bottom of the case here. Another Dodge Viper RT10 in yellow. Surfing School Bus. And what is this? Baja Bison T. I think this is a new casting. I don't remember ever seeing this one before, but correct me if I'm wrong. Sometimes they come out with older castings and recolor them years later, but I don't remember seeing this one before. Baja Bison T5 from HW Greenspeed. HW Greenspeed, so I'm assuming it's an electric vehicle, so I would, I would assume this is a new casting, but pretty cool looking. I like it. All right, what else do we have? Air Eruption, new color of that one. The Demichini Velas and the Ducati Desert X in white. All right, and we are getting down almost to our last row here. We've got the X34 Land Speeder. This is from the Star Wars edition. I'm not a big fan of it. It's just one of those kind of fantasy vehicles for Star Wars. Another 89 Mercedes-Benz 560 SE 8 AMG. Gotta have lots of those, love that. Fiat 500E in a new recolor. HW Green Speed, all right. And our last row here, we've got the Rally Special, or Speciali, uh, the Batmobile, and another one of the Baja Bison T5s. And our last three cars that we have in the case, they are the Batmobile, the 73 Honda Civic Custom, and a Corvette Grand Sport. Guys, comment down below your favorite car from this case. What's up, P-Timers? Today, we're unboxing the 2023 Hot Wheels H case. The 2023 Hot Wheels H case. The treasure hunt for this case is the Ducati 1199 Pinigali, and the super treasure hunt for this case is the Glory Chaser. Hopefully, we find one of those in this case. All right, let's go ahead and unbox it. start it right at the top right here. We'll grab our first three cars down. First up, we have the Teed Off 2. Looks to be a new color variation. We've got the Mustang Funny Car, NHRA approved funny car. 
And we've got the Honda CB750 Cafe Racer right there. Nice little motorbike. All right, good start to the case. And right up top, we've got the Batmobile, the Dodge Van. It looks to be a new color of that one. And we've got the 2023 Nissan Z. And up top right here, we've got the Cloak and Dagger right there. Looks to be a new color. We have the Jaguar I-Pace E-Trophy. Check out the color variation of that. That's some cool like matte finish paint job with some like speckles on there. That's kind of cool. I like that. We got the Porsche Taycan Turbo S as well right there. And we'll go on up top. We've got the 88 Honda CRX right there. We've got it in that nice matte gray with the gold chrome wheels. I really like the color variation of that one. Batman Forever Batmobile. And we've got Brickin Trails. Looks to be new color variation of the Brickin Trails. And what else do we have? HW4 Track. And I'm not sure if that's a new casting or not. It could be. Correct me in the comments if it is or not. We've got the 64 Nova Wagon Gasser, and we have the Rockin' Railer right there. Rockin' Railer, that's an interesting casting right there. Cool, cool, cool. All right, good start to this case so far. We've got the 89 Mercedes-Benz 560 SEC AMG. We've got the Diora 3 and the Batman Forever Batmobile again. That Diora 3, I like the color on that. That's a nice orange color on that one. So that's a cool new recolor. What else do we have? We have the Twin Duction right there. And I think that's a new color variation of that. Then we've got the BMW i8 Roadster. And we did get this one as a Hot Wheels ID car quite a while ago when first Hot Wheels ID cars came out. And now we're getting it in the main line. So that's pretty neat. I like the color variation of that one. We got the 70 Dodge Charger, the tuned out variation. We should have the Supra in here if I'm not mistaken as well, but that is super, super cool. I love these tuned variations of cars. We'll be able to compare that to the regular variation as well. We've got the uh, 2018 Dodge Challenger SRT Demon right there. I like that color variation of that. The Mazda REPU pickup and the 1988 Jeep Wagoneer. The next up, we do got the Dugatti, Ducati 1199 Pinigali. That is the treasure hunt for the case. You can see the treasure hunt logoing just right there on the side of it. That's a cool looking motorbike. I like all the super sport bikes and stuff. I'm not a big fan of like the regular motorbikes, but the sport bikes like that, the exotic sport bikes, those are really cool. So happy we got that one as our treasure hunt. Another 2023 Nissan Z, and we've got the Gotta Go as well. And that looks to be a new color variation of that one. Next up, we've got another one of the Mazda RAPU pickup trucks. The 2018 Dodge Challenger SRT Demon, another one of those. And we've got the Skate Grom. That is the Tony Hawk edition of the Skate Grom. So we saw that one in our previous case, but cool. We've got another one of those. What else do we have? We've got the Hot Wheels Ford Transit Connect. That's uh, Hot Wheels Art Cars, new color variation of that. The HW4 track again, and another one of these 70 Charger tuned out variations. All right. The last three cars of the first half of our case and our next half of the case is already coming down here but let's have a look we've got the 64 nova wagon gasser another one of those we've got the rockin railer and fast feline right there fast feline looks to be a new color variation of that one as well all right we'll put those ones aside we'll go down to our next half of the case here and see what other cars and stuff that we've got oh wow look at that New color variation of the Pagani Zonda R. Wow, that looks so good. I just love the gold wheels on that. Just very, very nice. That, what a cool casting. That's gotta be one of my favorite castings to come out recently, that Pagani Zonda R. And I believe they're coming out with one of these as a premium RLC car as well. Sometime in the future, they kind of just announced that. So we'll see that hopefully sometime soon. Fast Feline and the Baja Hauler two ones of those ones and we'll go up to our other half of the top right here 
Uh, we got the Mustang NHRA Funny Car again, another one of those. We've got the Rally Special and the 71 Plymouth GTX. I like the wheels on the GTX. I think it suits that casting very, very nicely. So that's an interesting one. There we go, we'll put those aside. We've got the Tesla Model Y in the gray color. We saw that one in our previous case. I love the color variation of that. I think it looks good with the blacked out wheels. And this casting is just so cool because it's not just the stock Model Y, it's got like a body kit on there. It's got like the lip body kit and stuff. So really, really cool casting. I like that one. Happy they came out with that. Solar Reflex and the 1988 Jeep Wagoneer. We have the 68 Gas Monkey Garage Corvette. We've got Glory Chaser and that is just our main line by the looks of it. Not the Super Treasure Hunt, but still, Really nice car, really like that one. Like the Golf livery on there, very cool. Fiat 500E, the electrified Fiat 500. There we go. What else do we have? We've got the Gripsy Fantasy. That looks to be a new color variation. We had it in the white release originally this year. So nice, we got that in a new one. We've got the HW Dream Garage Bone Shaker. Check that out. We saw, I think it was a black version, just kind of with that same livery. I like the white walls on the wheels and tires there. Doesn't that look good? White walls looks really good. Ooh, 1970 Dodge Power Wagon from Mud Studs, all mudded out. Wow, I did not see this one coming. This is really cool. I actually put this, I did a top five castings of all time, probably three or four years ago, and I did include this one in it. I don't know if it would be in there now, but the mudded out variation looks so, so good. I'm super happy to have that. I can't wait to open it up. We will in a future video. And we've got the Cool Combi Moon Eyes Edition, the matte gray finish. That's interesting, all right. Uh, we've got the Matt and Debbie Hayes Pro Street Thunderbird Black with the bottom kind of greenish gold color. That's our third color variation of this new casting. So for this year, it's not very often we get a new casting, we get three different variations of it halfway through the year. That's that's pretty cool. I guess people love the casting and why not? It's a nice little casting, I like it. Uh, 72 Ford Ranchero right there, there we go. Art cars with the V on the side of it. What else do we have? Another Tesla Model Y. And we've got the Hot Wheels High from HW Metro and the Baja Bison T5. T5 or TS? T5, something like that. But that's a new casting as well. Uh, so we saw that one in our previous case, carried over into this H case. We got the CRX again. We've got the Porsche Taycan Turbo S and the Batman Forever Batmobile, all ones that we saw before. We've got the Batmobile, so we've got a couple of Batmobiles in this case. Uh, the Rally Special and new color variation of the 1984 Audi Sport Quattro. Check that out. That is a neat color variation. We've gotten a lot of different color variations of this one. I believe this is probably our fifth, maybe sixth color variation of this car. But hey, I'm not going to complain. It's a cool casting. I do like it. We go down here, we've got the Corvette Grand Sport Roadster. It's a nice clean silver color. And that's from the Fast and Furious series. You can see it's Fast and Furious. Then we've got the Batmobile again and the Baja Bison again. We'll put those ones aside and we'll go on to, oh, check this out right here. Been waiting for that one. The Lamborghini Cyan or Cyan FK37, but look at the orange color variation of that. Does that not look good? What a great casting. And I actually think that the new Lamborghini that was just the Revolto that was just released is very inspired by the Cyan right here. So very, very cool casting. It looks very similar. Uh, HW Exotics, of course. And I look, look at the logoing on here, the 60 anniversary row. So I guess this, is it the 60th anniversary of Lamborghini? I think it might, must be, must be. All right, and then the other ones that we did get, we got another Fiat 500E, and we did get another one of the Mercedes-Benz 560 SEC AMG. One of the best castings released so far this year. Absolutely love that one. And our last three cars in the case. What do we have here? We've got the Roller Toaster Peanut Butter Edition. We've got the Cloud Cutter. Cloud Cutter, is this new? Oh, it must be, no, this must be an older casting. I think it came around a while ago. Cloud Cutter, I don't I don't recognize the name though. 
from the Sky Show series. And last but not least, we've got the uh, Star Wars edition of the X34 Land Speeder. Comment down below your favorite car from this case. Don't forget to hit that like, follow, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye bye. The 2023 Hot Wheels J case. The regular treasure hunt for this case is the 95 Jeep Cherokee. And the super treasure hunt for this case is the 82 Toyota Supra. Hopefully we find one of these in this case. All right, let's go ahead and unbox it. We'll start right up top right here. We'll grab our first three cars. And the first one that we have is the 1962 Corvette Gasser. Looks to be a new color variation of that one. Then we have the Bricken Delivery. That's a really cool casting. Really enjoy this casting. It's a nice new color of that one as well. Then we have Roller Toaster, the Peanut Butter Edition. Very nice, good start to the case. Up top right here, we've got the Custom 2011 Camaro in white with some nice graphics on the side, the art cars. Diora 3 and a new color variation of the 2017 Audi RS6 Avant. I think it's been maybe a year or two since we've seen a new color of that one, but that one does look pretty good. I do like that one. And up top, we've got uh, ooh, we've got some creases and a card in this case from the factory. That's interesting. 84 Pontiac Firebird right there. That's a great new color variation of that one. Love that blue color. We've got Cloud Cutter and we've got the 82 Toyota Supra. And this one is the main line of the case. This is not the supercharger hunt for it. Those wheels though, those wheels look so good. I really enjoy the new wheel style of that. So that's pretty cool. I'll go up top right here. We've got the Mercedes-Benz Unimog. Looks to be a new color variation of that one right there. Then we do have the uh, Hot Wheels Ford Transit Connect right there. Nice color variation of that. And then we've got the Bone Shaker new color variation of that. Love these white wall tire wheel combination that they do for these. Looks very, very nice. And what else do we have? Sweet Driver right there. Looks like a nice chocolate edition of the sweet driver. Then we've got fast feline and we've got the lightning bug. I think this is a new casting if I'm not mistaken. I'm not too sure. I haven't seen this one before. I could be wrong though, but lightning bug. There it is. That looks to be some sort of track stars edition. What do you guys think of that one though? I'll we'll put that aside and we have the 87 Ford Sierra Cosworth right here. Check out the color variation of that. That looks to be a new one. And then we've got the uh, Batman Forever Batmobile, another Batmobile. And then we have, ooh, check out new color variation of the Porsche 911 GT3. I'm really enjoying this casting, uh, this color variation though. That's, that's a br nice bright, like a reddish orange color with the black stripes on the top and the gold wheels on there. I do like that one. Uh, the, the shark blue one they came out with though is still my favorite. Uh, 84 Mustang SVO in black. That's a cool color. That looks really good too. Uh, we've got a Batmobile right here, the Batman animated series Batmobile. And then this, I believe is a new casting as well. This is called the Solero GT. Check this out. This is like a new Hot Wheels hypercar. That is very, very cool. I do like that one. Wow, okay, unexpected. I cannot wait to open this one up and get a close up look at that. We'll do that on our next video. And let's see what else do we have. We've got the Dodge van in white. We've got the Corvette Grand Sport Roadster in silver and the Lamborghini Cyan or Cyan right there in orange. We saw that one in our previous case, but it's nice that we've got extras of those now. We'll put that aside. Uh, we've got the Pagani Zonda R. That's another one that we saw in our previous case. Really love the color variation of that one. So excited to get that. We've got the Rockin' Railer and we've got the Glory Chaser. And that Glory Chaser, this is the mainland edition. We saw a super treasure hunt of this one in the previous case as well. Put that aside. 
We've got the uh, Matt and Debbie Hayes 1988 uh, Th Pro Street Thunderbird in a black color. That's, I believe, our third or fourth recolor of it from this year. Uh, we've got the Mitsubishi Pajero Evolution. And this, I believe, is a new casting as well. Check that out. That is pretty neat. I like that one. That is that is nice. This is the Evolution. I think this is the one that has like the Evo engine in the SUV. So. Pretty, pretty fast little one. Group C Fantasy in yellow, the color of that one. And then we've got the Jaguar uh, I-Pace E-Trophy. That one we saw in our previous case as well. Honda Super Cub Custom and the 71 Plymouth GTX. And our bottom three of our first half of the case. Um, we've got the BMW i8 Roadster right there. So that's uh, one that we saw in our previous case. This is a new new casting or new, I wouldn't say new casting. This is more or less a new to mainline casting because we saw this one as a Hot Wheels ID car previously. Uh, we've got another Batman Forever Batmobile and then a new recolor of the 84 Audi Sport Quattro. Check out all the colors on that. All the striping looks pretty good. And we'll go down to our second half of our case right here. We'll grab from the top and we'll see what we have. There's another one of the Matt and Debbie Hayes uh, Pro Street Thunderbirds, uh, another Honda Super Cub Custom, and another one of those Mitsubishi Pajero Evolutions. That is, I just like this casting, I really do. I can't wait to open that one up. That's gonna be a fun one to look at. And what else do we have here? Rock and Railer again. We've got the Batman Animated Series and the, the Pagani Zonda R as well. We've seen those ones. Oh, what do we have here? Uh, we've got uh, Glory Chaser, another one of those, another BMW i Roadster, and another one of the Solero GTs. Three great looking cars right there. Really, really like those ones. And what else do we have up top? Uh, I'm grabbing extras here, so we'll put those down. Uh, we got another Dodge van in white, and the 84 Mustang SVO, and the Lamborghini Cyan in orange again. And what other three did I bring here? Uh, Group C Fantasy, the Jaguar I-Pace Trophy, and the Corvette Grand Sport Roadster. Put those aside. Still got lots of great cars in here. Uh, there's another one of the 84 Audi Sport Quattros, Batman Forever Batmobile, and the 71 Plymouth GTX in orange. And what else? Oh, check out the new recolor of the Nissan Maxima drift car. Love the blue with the white wheels. That looks so good. Very, very, very nice. I'm liking that one. Uh, the Dodge Power Wagon looks to be a very similar color. No, maybe the Dodge Power Wagon's a little bit lighter of a blue color, but uh, that's a cool casting. We've seen this one, I think it was in our previous case as well. Check this out, this Honda Civic Custom. Wow, that looks cool. The graphics on the side, the HW, the different wheel tire combination, and then the front end, we've got that lip spoiler on there. That is very, very nice. Okay, wasn't expecting to see something like that, but that's pretty cool. I'm not really a big Honda Civic fan, but I do appreciate that release of it. And what else do we have here? It looks like we've got the Cool Combi Moon Eyes Edition, and then I believe this is the treasure hunt for the case. And if we look in the bottom right there, yes it is. We can see the treasure hunt logo just on the packaging right there. And then we should have the treasure hunt logo somewhere around the vehicle. I think there's a small one just on the back right there. So there is our 95 Jeep Cherokee treasure hunt that we got in the case very cool can't wait to open that one up that's going to be cool to see and then we also did get a lucid air that i pulled out right here in black so that is a new color variation i believe that's our is this our fourth color variation of the lucid air i think it's our fourth color variation of lucid air so cool casting cool to have different colors of that we'll put the cool combi aside what else did we i picked out here as well we got the tuned 83 Chevy Silverado. That's a new color variation of that. And the Hot Wheels High right there as well. And we've got, there's our 70 Dodge Charger, the tuned out Fast and Furious edition. That's a really, really cool casting. And uh, we're still waiting to get the Supra. I don't know if the Supra is in this case or if it's in the next one. Uh, the tuned Twin Mill right there. There we go. There's another tuned out car. Check that out in that nice green color. Uh, we've got the Mad Splash. This is a like a speedboat that they have right there. There's the big 
the big splash in the front right there. Look, just look at the, the picture on that casting. Very interesting. Then we have another Batman animated series, Batmobile. We'll put those aside, getting to the bottom rows here. Oh, look at this new color for the HW Braille Racer Twin Mail. It's a nice, it looks like almost like it's a Zamac edition, but it's just very silver. It's like a solid block of silver, it looks almost like. Uh, that. It feels heavy too. That's gonna be interesting to open one up. So we'll open one of those up in our next video. We've got the Cloak and Dagger, and we've got the Twin Duction right there. Put those aside in our last three cars of the case. What do we have right here? We have the HW four track. We've got the Teed Off two and Count Muscula. Guys, comment down below your favorite car from this case. The 2023 Hot Wheels K case. The treasure hunt for this case is the Toyota Land Cruiser. And the super treasure hunt for this case is the 69 Shelby GT500. Hopefully we find one of these in this case. All right, let's go ahead and unbox it. Well, that's the first that that's ever happened where we had the cars completely fall out of the case. But you know what? Let's just go with it. Let's just unbox them how it is right here. We'll have to pick them up one by one. I'm gonna try and push the second half back right there. And first we've got the tuned 83 Chevy Silverado followed by the Automobili Pininfarina Batista. This is a new white recolor of it. So that's pretty neat. We'll grab some more of the cars that we dropped right here. We'll pick up a bunch of them here. All right, so we've got the Roland Solo right there. That's, uh, I think that's a new recolor of that one. We've got the 62 Corvette Gasser. There is that new recolor. We saw that one in our previous case, I believe, but we got a couple of them included all together right there. And we'll grab our next row right here. We've got the Batman animated series Batmobile. The casting I don't really like. Roland Solo and the Honda Super Cub Custom right there. And then we'll pick up these. We've got, ooh, look at that. We've got the Corvette C7 Z06. This is a then and now car, and this is a new gray recolor. I like that. That is pretty stealth looking, pretty neat. Uh, Nissan Maxima drift car in blue. Seen that casting before, it's a nice one though. And we've got the Mitsubishi Pajero Evolution followed by the Toyota Land Cruiser. This is our treasure hunt for the case. Here we have it. You can see the little treasure hunt logo just right there on the back. So super cool that we got the treasure hunts included in this case. Hopefully we find the super, you never know. We could get the super as well. We've got next the 84 Mustang SVO in black, followed by the 72 Stingray Cor Convertible. It says convertible, it doesn't actually specify Corvette on here, even though we know it's a Corvette. And this one is a really, really cool casting. It's our first recolor of it. And a cool feature of this one that I just recently discovered, if you shine a flashlight or a light just in that little hole down below right there, it will actually show the lights lighting up right here, which is really neat. And it'll shine a little bit in the interior as well, but it's mainly for those front pop-up headlights. So try that if you have this casting in the original release or this one right here, definitely really, really cool. And that was followed by, we also got the uh, HW Braille Racer Twin Mill. And that one, it looks to be like a Zamac edition of it, but I think it's just uh, like a very silver color of it. So we'll put those ones aside. Next up, we've got the Dodge Viper RT10. And I believe this is our original casting release of it. Yeah, it does look like original casting release. We are getting a new color, our, our new uh, casting release of this one right here. So it's a retooled casting, which is supposed to look a lot better. I've seen pictures of it. It looks really, really good. So I'm excited to get that one once it comes out. Solero GT, very nice. We saw that one previously. Cool fantasy casting from Hot Wheels. Tune Twin Mill looks like a new recolor of that one as well. And we'll grab our next cars right here. We've got the Mock It Go right there. And then we've got the 2017 Audi RS6 Avant. Nice green color of that one. That's a recolor of that. Followed by the Surf and Turf right there in a new Malibu written on the side of it. Very neat. All right put those aside and I'm dropping cars right here. So we'll throw those cars back up and we'll grab our next batch right here. We've got the brick and motor right there. I'm not sure if that's a new recolor or if that's just a re-release. 
We got another one of the Batman animated series uh, Batmobiles as well as the Mitsubishi Pajero Evolution. We'll put that aside. Going on to our next one right here. There is our 82 Toyota Supra and this one is the mainline variation, not the supercharger hunt of it. So hopefully we find a supercharger hunt. Look at the color variation of this 87 Dodge D100. Isn't that neat? Wow, that is a very interesting color and tampa work on there. I like that. It's actually pretty cool. Um, we got the Mercedes-Benz Unimog 1300L in a new color as well. Put that aside. I'll follow those up with the Mod Speeder right there, Mod Speeder, and then the 87 Ford Sierra Cosworth. We've seen a few different recolors of that Ford Cosworth so far this year. Count Muscula, another one of those ones as well. And getting down to the bottom of our second, our first half of the case right here, we got the Chrysler Pacifica, Chrysler Pacifica, followed by the Rescue Duty. And then we follow that up with the Honda Civic Custom in white. I don't like Honda Civics at all, but I like the releases that they're coming out with them in Hot Wheels format. I think they look pretty cool. So that one's pretty neat. It looks like we do have another one of those Civics that we got at the bottom right there. So there's another one. And then we've got the Quick Bite, Hot Chicken edition of Quick Bites. And that's another Batman Batmobile animated series, which I'll be giving away because I don't like it. You guys know that. All right, we'll move over these cars right here, going on to the second half of our case right here. Hopefully this doesn't drop. There we go. We're down to our second half. We're just gonna reach right up here. Grab our first cars. Oh, there's one that I've been really looking forward to getting. It is the 1956 Corvette. This is the Barbie edition. And uh, my daughter collects all of the Barbie cars and she's excited for the Barbie movie. So I'm gonna be giving this one to her. So that's her car. We'll put that one aside. We got the HW Braille Racer Twin Mill as well as the Mad Splash. We'll go on up right here. And we'll go on to our next ones. We've got the 55 Chevy Bel Air Gasser, followed by another one of the tuned 83 Chevy Silverados. And that's followed by another one of the 87 Ford Sierra Cosworths. Very nice. And what else? Ooh, check it out. A new color edition of the Ford Mustang Mach-E 1400. I like that color. And this one, it's even got the RR on there as well. That's a really neat variation of that. I can't wait to open that one up. Followed by Limited Grip. There is a new color variation of that. And then a new color of the Porsche 911 Carrera RS 2.7. We saw this one in white previously. Now we've got this orange color. That one looks really good. I think orange suits it very, very nicely. We'll put those aside. Grab some more cars up here. We've got the Dune Crusher followed by the Bricken Delivery right there. And that looks to be a new color of both of those, I believe. I'll put those aside. We've got some more cars right here. We'll grab a bunch more. So we got another one of the Mercedes-Benz Unimog 1300L followed by the 83 Chevy Silverado. Looking good. That's a neat one I like that. And then we got the custom 2011 Camaro. We've seen this one in our previous cases before. And then right there, we've got the BMW 507 in red. That is a nice new recolor of that one originally released in the white. So we've got the red one. And we've got another one of the Barbie Corvettes. I'm excited to get these uh, very, very nice. So you know what? I've got, I've got another daughter that will take this one as well. So there we go. So we're, we're covering, we're covering the kids right here on this case right here. We'll get this one right here, the Mazda 787B as well. Very, very cool. A new recolor of that one. That's an interesting color. It's, it's kind of, it's a reddish color. It's like a darker reddish color, but it almost looks brown. I don't know, maybe I'm colorblind, but that's just a weird looking color of that. Not really liking it, but there we go. Next one, we got the Drone Duty right there, Drone Duty. And we'll grab some more at the top right here. Lightning Bug right there. And that's a new color of that one. Ooh, check out the power panel. HW Hot Trucks, this is a big casting right here. This is just a huge, 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 huge. We compare that even to our Mustang right here. We got the 84 Mustang SVO. Look at how big that power panel is. It's kind of, it's heavy too. Nice, I like it, I like it. All right, what do we have up top right here? 
We got a Porsche 911 GT3. I absolutely love this casting. Nice to get the no, uh, new recolors of that. The blue and the black one, though, are way nicer than this one, but still, it's a it's a good recolor. Count Muscula again, and then we got the El Seguendo Coupe in a new recolor. I like that casting. That's a really good looking Hot Wheels fantasy car. So nice to have that. What we have here, we've got the 84 Pontiac Firebird right there. Then we've got the 82 Toyota Supra, another one of these Supras, very nice. Uh, 2017 Audi RS6 Avant, very good, very good. And then, what else do we have? Another 84 Pontiac Firebird, another one of the Porsche 911 uh, GT3s, and another tuned twin mill. There we go, getting down to our bottom row. Uh, we've got the Lucid Air in black. I like that. We've got the 69 Shelby GT500 mainline. Mainline, this is not the supercharger hunt of it, but uh, this would be a supercharger hunt if we had it in the case. Unfortunately, we didn't get it. We did get a treasure hunt though in the case, which is really good. Uh, mod speeder, and then our bottom three. Our bottom three cars. Sweet driver, followed by limited grip. And our last car in this case, the 20 uh, custom 2011 Camaro. Guys, let me know in the comment section down below your favorite car from this case. The 2023 Hot Wheels LK. Treasure hunt for this case is the Mad Fast. And the super treasure hunt for this case is the 65 Mercury Comet Cyclone. Hopefully we find one of these in this case. All right, let's go ahead and unbox it. And we'll grab our first three cars right up at the top right here. And first up, we've got the Erkenstein Rod in a new white color. We've got the El Seguendo Coupe in black. And we have the 55 Chevy Bel Air Gasser. All right, good start to the case right here. What else do we have? We've got a white Batmobile. Check that out. That is definitely an interesting one to see. Uh, next, we have the 87 Dodge D100. Check out the color on that. That is super interesting of a color. Then we got the Dodge Viper RT10, a very classic casting we've seen for a long time. Another recolor of that one. Next, we've got the HW Papa Wheelie, the Hot Wheels Papa Wheelie. I think we've seen this one uh, several times before. I'm not really a big fan of the casting. It's kind of weird looking. Uh, then we have the Nissan Nismo Leaf RCO2 in white. That is a new recolor. That white looks clean with the nice Nissan on the side of it. Then we got the 72 Stingray convertible. That's the Corvette. Very nice casting, a nice new color of that one. We've got the Automobili Pininfarina Batista in white. That's a new color. We've got the Mock It Go. And then we have the BMW 507 in red. That's a great new recolor. We saw the white one originally. Now we have a red one. 73 Honda Civic Custom. Check that out. That is cool looking in the orange. Very, very nice. Uh, Corvette C7 Z06 in a new gray color. And then the Roland Solo right there. All right, we'll put those aside. We have the 67 Shelby GT500. That is the main line of what would be a super treasure hunt from the previous case. So this one just carried over. Then we have the 83 Chevy Silverado. That's been a very popular casting and it's a very, very nice new color. I really like the color of that one. The black on the top and bottom with kind of like a almost wood style trim in the middle. It looks really good. We got the Dune Crusher as well. Put those aside, then we have Mock it go again. The Volvo P1800 Gasser, the Hot Wheels Legends edition right there. Very nice. That looks to be a new recolor of that. What does it say on the side? It's got Hot Wheels on the side of it, but in like a very unique logo. I haven't seen that before. That's interesting. All right. Then we got the Mad Fast below that, which is our treasure hunt for the case. We can see the little treasure hunt logo on the card in the back right there. Uh, where's our treasure hunt logo on it? Oh, we'd have it right at the front right there. So we can see the treasure hunt logo right at the front end of it. But there we go. So pretty cool that we found the Mad Fast treasure hunt in this case. Very nice. Then 
We've got the mod speeder right there in that like matte gray finish color, limited grip. That's been a pretty popular new casting as well. And then they got the coupe clip. I love the coupe clip. I've actually got one of the colors of the coupe clip on my keys for my vehicle. So very, very cool. Like it's got a little keychain hole in there so you can attach it to your keys. That's what it's made for. Next up, we've got the Rescue Duty, and then we have the Lotus Amira, and that looks to be a new recolor of the Lotus Amira, and another one of the red BMW 507s. All right, I love this case so far, but lots of good ones here. Here's another great one here. Uh, we got our Dodge Viper again, then our tuned out variation of the 94 Toyota Supra from the Fast and the Furious. Isn't that unique? Like, just look at how crazy the casting is. It's very interesting that uh, Mattel and Hot Wheels got together with Fast and Furious and put a casting looking like that out. But I like it, I think it's unique. Uh, we got the Brick and Speed as our next one. And then we got the Porsche 911 Carrera RS 2.7 in that new orange recolor, really liking that. And check this one out, the Trouble Decker. I'm not sure if this is a new casting. I think it's a new casting. I haven't seen this one before, but that is very cool. I like that. That's going to be a fun one to open up. I can't wait to open that one up, see what it's like, but that is super neat. Very cool new casting. A Ford Mustang Mach E 1400. That's a new recolor of that one. We'll put that aside. And then what else do we have right here? The Mazda 787B right there. Then we've got the Surf and Turf. And we've got, look at this, the 65 Mercury Comet Cyclone Mainline. Not the Super Treasure Hunt, so that looks to be just the mainland variation, but still a very nice looking casting. I do really like the color variation on that. That is really good. So you never know, could be at the bottom of our case right here, second half of the case. Let's see if we can find the Super Treasure Hunts. Uh, lots of other good cars in this case still to come here. So let's go ahead and pick out from our top. We've got the 87 Dodge D100, another one of those ones. We've got the Lolux, and that looks to be a new recolor of that. That's kind of like an off-white color. Interesting, you can see it next to like a more pure white Batmobile down there. You can see how different that white color is. Almost like a tannish, like a light tannish for the Lolux. Batmobile is pretty cool in white. I don't know, I don't know how fitting it is for a Batmobile to be in white though, but hey, there it is. If you've, always, if you've ever wanted one, now you can get one. Uh, El Segundo Coupe, another one of those ones. Uh, Mod Speeder, and ooh, check that out. Land Cruiser 80, that is nice. That looks really, really good. I like the color, like the look of that one, the wide wheel tire combination on there. It's a very, very nice one, so that's pretty cool. I'll open that one up in the future here. We've got the Quick Bites, and we've got another one of the 83 Chevy Silverados. Very cool, and we got Limited grip, sorry, I'm bouncing my camera around here. Limited grip, another one of those ones as well. What else do we have up top? We've got Drone Duty. There is the Barbie Corvette again, another one of those ones. Very, very nice to have that. And then we've got the Ford Mustang Mach-E 1400, very cool. The Barbie Corvette, I say another one because I opened one up in my previous case. Alfa Romeo GT6 3.0. Check out the detail on that one. Check out the wheels. Like, this is just a main line, and th these must be new wheels. I have not seen those wheels before. That is cool. I really like I didn't expect to like that so much, but now that I have it in hand, it looks really nice. Uh, another one of the Porsche uh, Carreras, the orange one, and then we got the 2011 or sorry, 2010 Camaro SS. This looks to be a fire chief variation of that one. So pretty cool. Very nice, I like this case so far. Lots of good cars in here. The Falcon 2007 Ford Mustang. Check out those classic like mesh style wheels. We haven't seen these ones on a car for a while. We used to get those ones a lot. We've got the uh, Corvette C706 again, and then we got a new recolor of the DMC DeLorean. That is an interesting new recolor. I like the white wheels on there. Looks good, very, very nice. And what else do we have? Another one of the 94 Toyota Supra's tuned out variation, the Chrysler Pacifica and another white Batmobile. All right, what else do we have right here? We've got the brick and motor, very, very cool. Look at that, we've got a new recolor of the Koenigsegg Gemera. That is a bright yellow color. I believe it's a bright yellow, yeah, it's a bright yellow color. Wow, with the blacked out wheels on there. 
I did not see this one coming. I didn't think that, that we would get one of these ones in this case, but perfect, we got it. Uh, Trek Manga, there we go, we got that. And what else do we have right here? Roland Solo, another one of those ones, another of the 55 Chevy Bel Air Gassers, and another Automobili Pininfarina Batista. What else do we have? Another one of our Trouble Decker cars. Check that out, Trouble Decker, very nice. Mazda 787B and the Power Panel. We saw this one in our previous case. It's very cool, it's like a heavy casting, I like it. And we're getting down to our bottom row right here. Recolor of the Aston Martin Vantage GTE, I like that. Alfa Romeo GT V V6 3.0 and then we got the Jack Hammer. I don't think I've seen that casting before. That must be a new one as well. Check out the engine on that. Like, just look at the card. You can see the, the engine with the intake on there. Check it out at the front. That's interesting. Wow, like it's like a some sort of crazy scoop intake for air. It's got like this big wide open section to scoop air turbos in there. That's cool. I really like that. And obviously our, our Aston Martin GTE in white. Very cool, and then another one of the uh, Alfa Romeo GTV 6s I think I said that already, but hey, there you go again. Our last three cars of the case, we do have a new one. We've got the Volkswagen ID Buzz. Check that out, VW ID Buzz. That is interesting of a new electric casting. 1970 Pontiac Firebird, new recolor, and then another one of the 72 Corvette convertibles. Guys, let me know in the comment section down below your favorite car from this case. The 2023 Hot Wheels M case. The regular treasure hunt for this case is the Time Shifter, and the super treasure hunt for this case is Mighty K. Hopefully we find one of these in this case. All right, let's go ahead and unbox it. Start it right up top right here. We'll grab our first three cars. And first one that we have is the Batmobile, followed by Nissan Leaf Nismo RCO2. And then we have a new casting right here. This is the Volvo XC40 Recharge. So this is an all electric Volvo, and it's got some pretty crazy livery on there, some sort of like off-road livery. So pretty neat new release and a new color for that, of course. We'll go up top right here. We've got the 2024 EV Hummer right here. New color variation. That's actually pretty neat. I like the graphics on the side. That looks pretty cool. It's pretty fitting for the Hummer. And then next up, we've got the 1970 Pontiac Firebird and the Lolox. I think we saw both of those ones in our previous case. We'll put those aside. Next up, we've got the Batmobile. And that's a new color variation for that one. It's kind of like a weirdish bronzy color it's almost like color shifting that's pretty interesting of a color for that one i like it uh surf duty lifeguard written on the side of it and we got a new color variation for one of our best castings of 2023 the 89 mercedes-benz 560 sec amg now in this silverish gray color right there very very nice the wheels pretty cool too very fitting for this car put that aside what else do we have we've got Brick and Speed, we've got the Mustang NHRA Funny Car in a new color variation. And then we have Highway Hauler with Rapid Race Parts written on the side of it. And, oh, we're dropping cars, of course. We've got Hot Wired right there. Then we have the Head Gasket. It looks to be a new color variation of Head Gastic. Gasket. And then we do have Trouble Decker with a little bit of a Fence card on Trouble Decker, but pretty neat new casting. We saw this one in our previous case. Now we get it in this case. So pretty neat. I like it. I like that new casting. Ooh, this is really cool. Really, really nice. The Remac Nevera in white. Wow, that's a great new color for that one. Looks really, really good. I'm excited to open that one up. I mean, the other color variations, they weren't bad at all. Like the blue they came out with originally. And I think there was one other one, but Man, that white looks really good. All right, so we got the Turbine Sublime in white, and then we have the 73 Jeep J10 in a new color variation with the Hot Wheels logo on the side. That's a cool color for the Hot Wheels logo, the black and silver in the middle. Very, very neat, I like that. Put those aside there. Then we've got 
the 73 Honda Civic Custom for all you Civic lovers, not me really. We've got the Tesla Roadster in a new color variation. Kind of the same color right there, though those two right there. Then we got the Koenigsegg Jamera in yellow. We saw that in our previous case, absolutely love it. Great new color variation, I'm a big yellow fan. We'll grab our next ones here. We got another Civic, this time it's the Police one for the 2018 Honda Civic Type R. Fiat 500E in a new color variation. Then we have the 07 Mustang right there with the Falcon color, uh, the livery. I, I, I combined livery and color together. So we got the colory right there. There we go, invented a new word during this video. <laughs> All right, we got next up. The Volvo P1800 Gasser. Oh, wow, look at the color of that. The 2018 Dodge Challenger SRT Demon with the SRT written on the side of it, blacked out. That, I think this is my favorite color variation for this casting ever released. I love that, that looks great. And then we got a casting was on our previous uh, case. We got the 94 Toyota Supra tuned out variation, Fast and Furious, of course. Very, very neat. A couple of these cards are bent. That's a little bit disappointing, but hey, it happens from time to time. That's just how the factory packages these. Uh, we got the Batmobile right there and the new white, uh, the Ducati Desert X and the Batmobile again. Another one of those ones. All right, all right. Time Shifter, there's our treasure hunt. And if it wasn't obvious that it's a treasure hunt, well, it's written giant on the side of it right there that says treasure hunt. And then we do have the treasure hunt logo just right there as well. So pretty cool that we found the treasure hunt for this case. Absolutely love that. Poison Arrow, new color variation. And there's another one of those Volvo P1800 gassers right there. We'll put those aside. And our last three cars for the first half right here, we have the 07 Ford Mustang again, another one of the Batmobiles, and a 2010 Camaro SS in that orange. We saw that one in our previous case as well. We'll grab the bottom half, and we'll pull our box a little bit forward so I can reach here. We'll grab up top. What else do we have? Coupe Clip. There it is, Coupe Clip, like that one. We've got the Trek Manga and the Urkenstein rod in the white color variation. That's an interesting color for that one because it's not like super aggressive like all the original colors. It's kind of a little subtle color, a little bit more clean. And what else do we have up top? We've got the head uh, gasket again, another one of those. We've got the 2020 Toyota Tacoma in white. Check that out. We got some sort of weird thing on the inside of the bubble right there. Oh well, not a big deal, but that's a great color. I love the white look on this one, especially with the colored wheels right there. Very, very nice. That's a great color variation for that one. DMC DeLorean right there in the new color with the white wheels. We saw that one in our previous case. What else do we have? Uh, Nissan Nismo RCO2, the Leaf. We got the Alfa Romeo GT6 3.0. We saw that one previously as well. Very, very nice casting. Uh, the Toyota Land Cruiser 80, I really like that. Not a big fan of the color variation of this one. Like to see a different color, but I'm sure we'll get some more of those in the future, no problems. Uh, we got the Mighty K, and this one is not it's not the Super, no, it's not. I was looking at the bottom here. It's not the Super, this is just the mainline variation of the Mighty K, uh, but hey, there's still a chance we have a Super in there. And speaking of Supers, this is the uh, mainline for the Super for the last case. So there we go. So there's our two main lines for the Super Treasure Hunts for this case and the previous case right there. Unfortunately, not the Super Treasure Hunts, but the main lines are still pretty cool. Another Batmobile in white, we'll put that aside. And we'll grab up top right here. 64 Nova wagon, very, very nice looking. We've got the 73 Jeep J10 right there, another one of those ones, and the Lotus Amira in the new color variation for that. I like it, I like it a lot. Grab up top right here. The Jackhammer, that's an interesting casting right there. I'm not, I can't remember if we've seen this one before. I don't think it's a new casting, but like I love like the turbo that they have in the front, like the twin turbos that they have kind of going through it there with the big air intake on the front. It's a pretty neat casting. Uh, we got the fast bed holler with the gold chrome on there. And then we have the cloak and dagger with the art cars edition right there. All right. And what else do we have? Another one of the jackhammers, another DMC DeLorean and another Lolux. So we'll put those aside. 
And we'll grab, we've got another 73 Civic Custom, another one of the new models of the Volvo XC40 Recharge, and then another 2010 Camaro SS. All right, all right, so what else do we have over here? I see some pretty cool new castings as well. There's the Volkswagen ID Buzz in yellow. That's a very, very cool car, I like it. It looks really cool. It's just an interesting casting because it's something different that we normally don't get. Uh, it's not for everybody, but it's nice. Uh, Aston Martin Vantage GTE, really like that one. Very, very cool. And then we have the Baja Bison T5 right there. All right. And what else? We got another. Uh, we got the Ice Shredder, followed by another one of the Volkswagen ID Buzz. And then we have the 76 Chevy Chevette. And I don't know if this is a new casting. I think it's a new casting. I haven't seen this one for a long time. HW Drag Strip Edition. Pretty neat, pretty neat. It looks good in the dragged out edition as a regular Chevy Chevette. I'm not a big fan of, but as a drag variation, I think it looks pretty neat. So that's pretty cool to get. Uh, we got the BMW i8 Roadster in black. Very nice, that's a clean color for that one. That's another one of those. We got the Lotus Amira and another of the Land Cruiser 80. All right, and our last three cars. What do we have right here? We've got the Surf Duty, another one of the 89 Mercedes-Benz right there. I love to have an extra of those and an Erkenstein rod. Comment down below your favorite car from this case. The 2022 Hot Wheels N case. The regular treasure hunt for this case is the tuned Volkswagen Golf MK1. And the super treasure hunt for this case is the Porsche 935. Hopefully we find one of those in this case. All right, let's go ahead and unbox it. And we'll start it right at the top right here. We'll pull out our first three cars. And we've got the Batmobile from the Batman series. That's that new recolor, which I think looks really, really nice. And check out this 88 Honda CRX in a, like a matte blue color. Wow, that looks really good. I really like that. We've got a Lamborghini Reventon, new recolor of that one as well. Wow, what a great case so far. And I already know this is gonna be the best case of the year by far. And we've got the 86 Ford Thunderbird Pro Stock, looks to be a nice new recolor of that one. We've got the Passin Gasser with the big writing on the side of it. Check that out, that is super interesting to see that one. And then we've got the Poisoned Arrow, which I'm not really a big fan of, not really my thing, but we'll put it aside. Next we've got the 2018 Dodge Challenger SRT Demon. That's that new black color we saw in our previous case. We got the Batmobile again, another one of those. And we got the Ducati Desert X in the nice yellow color. And up top right here, We've got the H2Go speedboat right there. That is interesting to see. Passin Gasser, another one of those. And check this out. We've got the tuned Volkswagen Golf MK1. And this is the treasure hunt for the case. You can see the little treasure hunt logo just right down there below. And on the car itself, we can see just on the back of it, the treasure hunt logo. So super cool that we found the treasure hunt for the case so far. Hopefully we found the super. We'll see, we'll see. All right, next up we've got the Corvette C7 Z06 convertible. That's an interesting new color variation of that one. Another one of the 2018 Dodge Challenger SRT Demons. And then we've got the Fiat 500E. And we saw that one in our previous case as well. We've got the 2018 Honda Civic Type R, the police edition. And check this out, a brand new Bugatti, the Bugatti Bolide, or however you wanna pronounce it, but wow, what an amazing casting. This is the one that I've been really looking for. I'm a big Bugatti fan, you guys know that. So check that one out. Our first color variation, I'm sure we're gonna get lots of new recolors of this one coming up in the future, but Bugatti Bolide, a great looking car. Below that, we've got the Tesla Roadster right there. Put those ones aside. Then we've got the Ice Shredder right there. And then the 73 Jeep J10. That is a new casting we saw in our previous case. We've got Turbine Sublime as well. We'll put those ones aside. 
and then check out what we have right here we've got hot wired right there that looks to be a new recolor of that one we've got the remac nevera in white i love this new recolor casting we saw this in our previous case but wow one of the best recolors for 2023 such a good looking casting we've got the baja bison t5 as well we'll put those ones aside and check out what we have right here. We've got the Mustang Nitro Funny Car right there. And then we've got the Hologram. That's an interesting new recolor of the Hologram right there. Such a interesting, unique truck style casting. And then the Highway Hauler 2 with the Rapid Race Parts written on the side of it. We'll move some cars over here. They're just piling up so many good ones. I'm putting aside right here. What else do we have? We've got another one of those Batmobiles right there. We've got the Custom 68 Camaro. Wow, check that out. That is a new for 23 casting. That is some crazy detail. It's like a matte finish. It's all like kind of like crazy, like rat rodish style car, but really, really cool. There's the new recolor of the 89 Mercedes Benz 560 SEC AMG as well. And we'll put those ones aside. We'll grab some more cars down here. Tesla Roadster, another one of those, and check it out. We got a second Bugatti Bullied. Oh, I am excited to open this one up. Such a cool, cool new casting. Put that aside. We've got one of the GMC Hummer EVs, the Barbie edition. Check that out with the Barbie on the card right there. We'll put that one aside as well. And what else do we have right here? So many good new cars. We've got the Fast Feline in a new recolor. Check that out. And then we've got the Fast Bed Hauler. And another new casting for 2023, the Porsche 928S Safari edition. Wow, that is so cool as well. Check out all the lights on the front it's got some like stuff that it's carrying on the top the extra tire in the back that's going to be a fun one to open up as well can't wait to open that porsche safari right there all right to the bottom half of our case i'll pull the card aside we've got a bunch of cool cars in here we're dropping cars already we've got the surf duty that's a new casting we've got the 62 corvette and check out that i don't think that's a new casting that's one we've seen previously but that is definitely a new color i have not seen before we got the bmw i8 roadster in black we've seen that one previously great new recolor of that one i'm gonna reach up right here grab a bunch more cards down We've got the 89 Mercedes Benz 560 SEC AMG, another one of those, and check it out, the Ford Bronco R, and I don't believe this is a new casting, but it is a new to mainline casting with the big Borla written on the side of it. Wow, that is very, very neat to see in the main lines. 64 Chevy Nova Wagon right there. We saw that in our previous case as well. We'll grab some more cars up here. We've got the 20 Dodge Charger Hellcat right there. And I believe this is another one that is new to the main lines, if I'm not mistaken. We've got the uh, 76 Chevy Chevette. That one is a new casting we saw in our previous case. And then we got our new recolor of the Jaguar I-Pace E Trophy. Check that out. That is a pretty cool looking casting. We'll put that aside. We'll grab some more cards from up here. We've got the Cloak and Dagger. Check that out. That is interesting. New green color of that. Baja Bison and the Honda CB750 Cafe Racer right there. That motorbike. I believe that's a new recolor of that one as well. We'll put those aside and we'll grab some more up here. There's another one of those Remac Neveras. The best new recolor for 2023. Another Porsche 928 S Safari and the Volvo. XC40 Recharge. That's that off-road electric Volvo. We saw that one in our previous case, but nice to have another one of those ones. We'll put those aside. What else do we have up top right here? There's another one of those Custom 68 Camaros. Loving that casting. Good to see that one. The Fiat 500E, and then we've got the Hot Wheels High right there in a new recolor of that one. I'll put those aside. 
And we've got the uh, the Bruntonator right there. Bruntonator. Uh, like, I thought that was, I, I can't remember why it's called the Bruntonator. I, I swear it was called something else, but I could be mistaken. It's the one that has a little cap that you can remove uh, off of a cap, off a bottle cap or something like that. Cloak and Dagger. Then we got the Land Rover Defender 90. That's a nice recolor of that Defender 90. Such a classic casting right there. Loving to see that one right there. And then down below we've got the 64 nova wagon we've got the 89 mazda savannah rx7 fc35 and check that out we got the toyota tacoma the 2020 toyota tacoma in white love this new recolor of that one the card's a little bit bent on that but hey what the heck it's a great looking car right there we'll put that aside and we'll grab out Mighty K right there. That's a pretty neat one right there in that new red recolor. Turbine Sublime. And check this out. This is not the Super Treasure Hunt. No, this is, I believe, the mainline variation. So it's too bad, but still, what a great looking casting. I'm super, super excited to get this one. The 75 Porsche logo on the side of it from HW Exotics. Such a cool, cool casting. Unfortunately, not the Super, but I am still so excited to open this one up. A great looking car. We'll grab some more cars from here. We've got the 62 Corvettes, the Mighty K again, and the 2018 Honda Civic Type R. Another one of those ones. All right. Down below, we have got the uh, Mustang NHRA Funny Car, the BMW i8 Roadster, and check it out, the 2020 Tacoma. Again, I just really, really like that casting. Such a cool recolor. Very similar to the Remac Nevera, the new Remac Nevera recolor. I like to compare those ones because it's kind of like the, the white and then the blue trim. This one, although it does have different color wheels, but it's got some blue trim on the Remac Nevera. So I just love the, the white cars. They look so good. So super happy and excited to see those ones. And then at the bottom right here, our last four cars, we've got the HW4 track, the head gasket, and the teed off two. And wow, that's an interesting color for teed off two. I have not seen one like that before. But guys, let me know in the comment section down below your favorite car from this case. The 2023 Hot Wheels P case. The regular treasure hunt for this case is the 2020 Ram 1500 Rebel. And the super treasure hunt for this case is the Datsun Bluebird Wagon 510. Hopefully we find one of these in this case. All right, let's go ahead and unbox it. And let's start right at the top right here. We'll pull out our first three cars and look at that right away. We have our treasure hunt for the case, the regular treasure hunt, the Ram Rebel 1500. So super good start to this case. It's our first car in this case. So very, very nice. 86 Ford Thunderbird Pro Stock followed by the 88 Honda CRX. And we'll go up to the top. We've got the Lamborghini Reventon in that nice new color, the Passing Gasser and Sky Fire. I'm not sure if this one is a new casting or not. I don't remember seeing this one before. It's probably not. I don't think it's a new model, but correct me if I'm wrong, guys, in the comments section down below there. And what else do we have? We've got Lightning Bug, followed by the Sand Burner, and then we've got the Honda Super Bug Custom. And check that out, we've got the little thing on the back of this one. I don't think the previous Honda Super Cubs had this on there. So that is definitely new. I really like that. That's super cool. I'm not really a big fan of motorbikes usually in Hot Wheels, but something interesting like that is pretty cool. So I like. All right, what else do we have? We've got the Hologram followed by Passing Gasser, another one of those. And then we've got, whoa, check this new casting out. The 57 Jeep FC. That is crazy. It's a little like Jeep pickup truck, a little bit of a classic pickup truck. And then we do have the little spare wheel tire on the back of it. That is definitely interesting to see that one. Wasn't expecting that. All right, what else do we have up top right here? We've got the H to go and we've got another one of those Jeeps and then the Rockin' Railer. All right, great case so far. Another hologram, another of the 86 Ford Thunderbird Pro Stocks followed by the 69 Dodge Charger 500. 
Nice, nice, nice. All right, what else do we have? Another 88 CRX, the 71 Plymouth GTX, and then we've got the Bugatti Bowl Lead. I saw this one in our previous case. This one is definitely one of my favorite new castings for this year. Very, very cool. I really like that. We'll put those aside. And then we've got the Corvette C7 Z06 convertible, the Dodge Charger Drift, and check this out. It's the brand new retooled casting of the 1992 Dodge Viper RT10. Fun fact, this was my favorite car before the McLaren F1 became my favorite car. I love the Dodge Viper RT10 back in the day when it came out in the 90s. This is what I kind of grew up with. I really, really like them. I drove one in real life a few times. Just absolutely amazing cars. And I love the new casting of this one. They've retooled it. It looks so much better than the previous Dodge Viper. I can't wait to open that one up. We'll put that one aside. We've got the Solero GT in a brand new color. It looks like a a matte finish red that is definitely interesting i wasn't expecting to see that we got the jeep scrambler right here that is i can't remember if that's a new casting as well or not maybe not jeep scrambler is that a new one guys comment down below fast feline as well follow that one up there we go and what else do we have we've got the mad splash right there the uh porsche 98 928 S Safari. Sorry, I said 98, but it's 928. Uh, these uh, Subaru WRX STI looks like a nice uh, green, metallic green color. That's interesting. All right, what else do we have? We've got the Lion Lowrider. That's a cool color of that one. The 20 Dodge Charger Hellcat. I think that's a new recolor. And then we've got the HW Water Bomber as well. And then. The last of our first half of the case, we have the Batman Animated Series Custom 68 Camaro. That's a new casting we saw in our previous one. Then the Ford F-150 Lightning Custom. This is a new casting and just check out how big this is. Wow, that is just a ginormous casting when in comparison to, I don't know, compared to that. I mean, that's a pretty big casting too, but still, this is just a big casting, but I like it. It looks really cool. I can't wait to open that Ford Lightning up. Let's go down to the second half of our case and see what else we have right here. We'll pull out another pack of cars. We've got a new color of the 84 Audi Sport Quattro. It's kind of a white and yellow mixture right there. We've got the 89 Mazda Servana RX-7 FC35. And then we have, or 30, uh, sorry, it's th is it 3S or 35? I can't remember. Uh, then we have the 62 Corvette right there. We saw the that one in our previous case. We'll put, uh, we'll, we'll start a pile on this side here. And what else do we have up top right here? We've got the 80 El Camino right there. Then we've got the Ford Bronco R that is brand new casting. And then we have the Hot Wheels High. Very cool, some good ones included. We've got the 20 Dodge Charger Hellcat again, the Jaguar I-Pace E Trophy, and there is that Dodge Viper RT10. I just cannot wait to open this car up. I think I might do it right after we're done this video. We're gonna open one. All right, let's see here. What else do we have? We've got uh, another one of the Batman animated series in that kind of copper bronze color right there. We've got the Mitsubishi Pajero Evolution and that one, I like this color actually. This is kind of like the Mitsubishi Evo colors that they've put on the Pajero for the Evolution. That is interesting, very cool. Uh, Honda CB750 Cafe Racer, looks interesting. Not really my style though. We'll see what else we have up here. A uh, teed off two, that's that new color we saw in the previous case. The Mazda Savannah RX-7 again, and another one of the Ford Bronco Rs. We'll put those aside. And then we've got some more good stuff in here. Check it out, the Land Rover Defender 90. That's a brand new recolor of that one. I, I can't remember if we saw that in our previous case or not. The Brutinator, which is uh, the uh, one that you can open up a bottle with. Uh, then we've got the HW4 track as well, and I, that's a new casting for this year as well, the HW4 track. All right, let's see what else we have. We've got the Lamborghini Reventon. There's that new recolor. Another one of the Porsche 928 Safaris. And check out this 82 Cadillac Seville. This is interesting looking. I mean, that's a classic 80s Cadillac, just big and boxy with the mesh wheels. That's interesting though. Kind of cool that they released that one again. And what else do we have? 
the Porsche 935. This one is not the supercharger hunt. This is just the regular one, but this one as a supercharger hunt is my favorite supercharger hunt for 2023. I absolutely love this casting. Looks so cool. Uh, Corvette C7Z06 convertible, Hot Wheels High. Another one of those as well. Getting down to our bottom here. We've got uh, the Porsche 935 again, very, very cool. We've got the uh, F Ford F-150 Lightning Custom and then the 62 Corvette. All right, some cool castings. And then what else do we have right here? Look at that. Are you kidding me? We have the Super Treasure Hunt Datsun right here. Datsun Bluebird Wagon 510. This is the Super Treasure Hunt. Wow, I've not had a super treasure hunt for a while. Oh my gosh, I am super, super excited. That one's definitely going in a protecto right away. But wow, what an amazing case. And then to top it off with the super treasure hunt. Absolutely amazing. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. Follow it up with the tuned twin mill. And then we've got the Tesla Roadster in orange. Awesome, awesome. And then... The Land Rover Defender 90, followed by that fast feline. We got a new color of the GMC Hummer EV in a nice metallic green color. All right, and then we've got our last three cars in the case, the HW4 track, followed by the Batman animated series, and then our teed off to, wow, what an amazing case, guys. Obviously, the highlight of the case is our Datsun 510 Super Treasure Hunt. So excited to have that one in hand. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comment section down below your favorite one from this case. The 2023 Hot Wheels Q case. The regular treasure hunt for this case is the Volkswagen Baja Bug. And the super treasure hunt for this case is the Volvo 240 Drift Wagon. Hopefully we find one of these in this case. All right, let's go ahead and unbox it. And we'll start it right up top right here. We'll grab our first three cars. And the first one that we have is the Clip Rod. It looks to be a new recolor of that. Koenigsegg Jamera, and that's a new color of that one. That's a really cool one. It's kind of like a reddish, but like with a bit of tint of orange to it. So it's an interesting color. Uh, we got the Rescue Duty as well. And we'll go up top. Oh, we have a new color to the Barbie Corvette. Check that out. That is neat. Very, very nice. Kind of a tealish blue color. We got the Skyfire there as well. So very nice. Good start to the case. And we missed this one. We grab the HW Water Bomber, which I'm pretty sure we saw this one in our previous case, but nonetheless, a nice one. So we'll put those aside. We'll grab, oh, it's the Volkswagen Baja Bug, and that's the treasure hunt for the case. You can see the treasure hunt logo just on the card right there on the bottom. And then we look on the back, we can see the treasure hunt logo just right there on that back. So very cool that we got the treasure hunt for the case, the Volkswagen Baja Bug. We'll put that aside. We'll grab our next one. We got the 1986 Toyota van, and then we got that followed by the sand burner. All right. I'll go up top right here. We've got uh, the Lightning Bug. Looks to be a new color of that. We got the 57 Jeep FC, and we got that followed by the Honda Super Cub Custom. All right. Next up, we've got the Limited Grip. Looks to be a new color of that. We've got the 92 Dodge Viper. We saw this one in our previous case. Absolutely love this casting. Looks so good. Even the card art looks really, really good on that one. And we got that with the Dodge Charger Drift as well. And up top, we've got 71 Plymouth GTX followed by the Heavy Hitcher. Looks to be a new color of that one. And then another one of the 71 Plymouth GTXs. All right. Next up, we've got Rockin' Railer. Rockin' Railer right there, it looks to be a new color. We've got the Audi 90 Quattro. Check out the color of that one, that is cool. I love the red on that, looks really good. We saw that one previously released in a white. The red looks fantastic. 69 Dodge Charger 500 as well. What else do we have? We've got the HW Papa Wheelie followed by the Rockin' Railer and the 57 Jeep FC as well. Perfect. All right, what else do we have? 
Batman animated series, followed by Layin Lowrider and another one of the HW Water Bombers. And we've got Solero GT in that new color we saw in our previous case. There's a new casting. We've got the tuned variation of the Porsche 911 Turbo 964. These tuned cars, some of them are so interesting. It's just definitely weird to see a Porsche tuned out, but there it is. Followed by the Mad Manga Police Edition, new color of that one. All right. We've got the Mad Splash, followed by the 69 Ford Mustang Boss 302 Falcon Edition. I love these Falcon cars. That one looks really good. So happy to have that. Jeep Scrambler as well. We saw that one in our previous case. We'll put that aside. And then our last three cars of the first half of our case, we've got another one of these Solero GTs, followed by a recolor of the Alfa Romeo GT V6 3.0. We saw that one previously in a red. Now we've got this white color for it. Then we have the Subaru WRX STI. Perfect, loving it. Good start to this case for the first half. Going down to our second half here, right at the top. Grab our first three. We've got the 84 Audi Sport Quattro, followed by the 84 Pontiac Firebird, couple of 1984 vehicles right there. Then we got the classic 55 Nomad. Check that one out with the classic Nomad writing on the side of it. That is interesting. Pretty cool to see that one. All right, we'll put those aside. We'll grab a bunch of cars from the top right here. We'll pull these ones out. We've got the uh, 1980 uh, El Camino right there in green. We saw the one in our previous case, as well as the Toon Twin Mill and the 82 Cadillac Seville. A lot of early 80s vehicles in this case for some reason. Don't know why, but hey, not gonna complain. They're pretty cool. We've got the Power Panel, followed by the Mad Mike Drift Attack. I think that's a new car, and as well as another new car, the McLaren Solus GT. Let's have a look first at this Mad Mike Drift Attack. You can see it's got like that cutoff window on the back. That is super cool. I did not see this one coming. Did not even know this one was coming out, but that one is pretty neat. And then followed by our McLaren Solus GT. I knew this one was coming, was excited to get that. This one released in white. It's a V10 McLaren, limited to one of 25 in the real world, but great looking in the Hot Wheels format. What do you guys think of this new casting, the McLaren Solus GT? And then we've got up top right here, we'll grab some more cars down. All right, what do we have? We've got the Batman animated series, followed by the Mitsubishi Pajero Evolution and the Honda Super Cub Custom. And then we've got another one of the Mad Mike Drift Attack cars right there. So a couple of those, another 82 Cadillac Seville and another Jeep Scrambler. All right, and up top, Another one of our tunes, Porsche 911 Turbo 3.6964s, the 69 Dodge Charger 500, followed by our 1980 El Camino. Love, I just love the green on this El Camino. It's a very nice metallic green. I've already opened one up, but really nice looking green on that. So definitely a good one to collect. Followed by the custom small block right there. Then the 64 Lincoln Continental. That's a crazy new color of that one. And then another one of these Subaru WRX STIs. And what else do we have right here? We've got the Cloud Cutter right there, Cloud Cutter. And ooh, this is interesting. We've got the Land Rover Series 2. And check that out. We've even got like a surfboard on it. That's an interesting one. And I wonder if this window pops up and down, like it kind of looks like it's down right there and it should pop up and down. We'll have to open that one up on our next video and see, but that is super interesting, I like that. And then we have another one of the Mitsubishi Pajero Evolutions right there, don't wanna miss that, but there we go. Uh, we've got the Volvo 240 Drift Wagon, and this looks to be just the regular, not the Super Treasure Hunt, but this would be the Super Treasure Hunt of the case if we got the Super Treasure Hunt. Still a chance we can get it down below, we never know, but nonetheless, pretty cool looking car. I do like it, good. I like the, the different style wheels on there. That's cool how they got the dark ones on the back, the lighter white ones on the front and different wheels completely as well. Another one of the Land Rover Series 2s and another Batman animated series. Put those ones aside. 
And we'll grab out another McLaren Solus GT in white. That's the new casting, the GMC Hummer EV, followed by another Layen Lowrider. Awesome, awesome, like those. Getting down to the last row, we've got the 1984 Audi Sport Quattro, followed by the Ford F-150 Lightning Custom, and followed by this one, I believe it's just our regular right here. It's not a super trash on. It scared me for a second. I thought, I'm like, no way, did we get a, because in the last case, we got the Datsun 510 Super Treasure Hunt. And I was like, wow, did we actually get another one in this case? Sometimes they do carry them over, but nope. This is just the mainline variation of the Datsun 510 Bluebird Wagon. Very, very cool though. These wheels are definitely interesting. They kind of throw you off because you look at these wheels and you're like, those are not normal wheels that we see on mainlines. But this one is just our mainline variation of it. So pretty cool looking Datsun 510 Wagon. And then our last, Three cars. There's another one of the Volvo Drift Wagons. Is it a Super? No, it is just another mainline variation of the Volvo Drift Wagon. Then we got the Tesla Roadster in orange, the new color of that. And our last car, the Tuned Twin Mill. Guys, comment down below your favorite car from this case.